ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Play 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I took a break to the Fagan Muller podcast, where we are growing our professional self. And this evening, ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, this is why I'm going to use this as why I took a two week break. I had to haul someone in from, uh, I had to haul people in from South Africa, but they are world renowned, mm. so they travel all over the world so mm. to find out if they are here. Um, and um, first of all, I do have my resident guest, he made it this evening, Mr. Dylan Brooks, how are you this evening, sir? I'm well, I'm well, thank you for having me, I'm, I'm dressed by my mother, she knitted this for me, so... <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Shout out to Deirdre, one day we'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing about having like something knitted, you don't have a collar, so you don't know what's the front or what's the back. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for joining me, my brother, yeah, I know it's been, a, it's been a time, and you've been um, supporting from afar, right, blessed, and the, uh, I know this is uh, your favorite thing to do. I've got two legendary people in front sure. of us, and I know you burning to ask a lot of questions. I'm feeling it. First of all, let me start to, uh, over my uh, diagonal, Mr. Hezran Shetty. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, How are man. you this evening, sir? I'm good, man. This is the pre-talk and everything. I'm pumped for this. I'm ready <laughs> for this. Vida so, was also amazing, so I'm good this evening, yeah. Um, and over to uh, you, sir, Mr. DJ Azul. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you so much. Welcome, um, looking welcome. forward to this evening. Welcome. So, um, as Nantel said, give the history. Uh, <laughs> and then I was like, and, oh, yes, and guys, and don't forget the guy to our left, the conspiracy theorist. Yes, no oh. other than Mr. Nantel. There yes, we yes. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear the jeers anymore. But I, I think we're glad to be back. That man's been on my case. I need to get back. But I know the weather's been crazy. Yeah. So Nantel said, give a history. And I think we're going to let everybody, I'm going to find out the history through you guys through this. What I want everybody to know is that we are dealing with Mr. Ezran Chetty, mm. what I know of you and what I've read of you, based in Italy? Mm, between now, I've been between Italy and Germany. Yeah, Be I'm Berlin, in uh, Berlin and Italy. Nice. So I'm based between the two. I've been in Berlin for the last seven months and then in Italy for the last three years prior to that. And originally you're from? Uh, Durban, nice. South Africa. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Son of the soul. I'm a, a fourth generation Indian, sure. South African. Oh, My grandparents were from the south of India. Uh, my grandmother, one of them was from Mauritius. The rumors, my great grandfather left India, mm. came, kidnapped her, took her to Durban. Mm. But that's just family oh, secrets. Just no, I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh, Dur Durban bread. And then everybody out there is probably wondering, like, why do you, what do you do in Italy all the Wait, time? So you going. apparently play the violin. I so. play the violin. I play the violin. I was going to say I'm also, I'm 98 something percent South Indian and the rest, the other percentage Japanese. Wow. Okay. Yeah, my brother did one in Europe because my brother lives in northern Spain, in Galicia. Okay. And he did one of those, because you know in Europe you can do all those. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So he did that. Yes. And we found a long lost adoptive uh, uh, a relative in Belgium, another Indian yeah. oh, who wait. was looking for his family for no. years. Yeah. yeah. So, so now I can ask the question. Yes. So, sir, you play the violin. I play the violin. Yeah. I love that. I've, uh, I saw the thing alternative violinist. Yes. Mm. Is alternative that, uh, that violinist. I like that because yeah. violinist, yeah. my, my yeah. wife, we were going classical. And then I went, check this out. Boom. And we were like, cool. hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. This, yeah. is, this, this is something else. <laughs> do, do you now feel that that come from that 2% Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> the alternative. <laughs> alternative. Yeah, I There's not a sound coming from all over. Just, my mind is just <laughs> blowing now. I'm just <laughs> a realization now. <laughs> Yes, Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I actually, uh, uh, I, uh, no, it came from my, both my granddads in mm. the 50s in South Africa were band mm. leaders. One, uh, and you can imagine the 50s at time, yeah. uh, they both pushed for uh, having diverse lineups with females in those lineups oh, and wow. things like that. Yeah, I got the photo, I'll send you the photos and yeah, you guys can check those out. And they were both band leaders. Uh, most of my family, some are DJs, some are based in Johannesburg and around the world, are musicians. 
My brother plays Indian percussion. My sister uh, harmonium. My dad used to play the guitar mm. uh, while he was still around. And my mom tried to sing, but that never worked. So, <laughs> so yeah. But uh, uh, who told her? Uh, who? ஸ்கூல் <laughs> 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 and uh, i was walking to the toilet and you know this old paint after the party there we, when the schools we went to those model c yeah. schools mm. and all of that and then i uh, i walked through i saw that i could hear the sound i was like what is that noise <laughs> and then i went to in the hall there was a kid practicing and I, and i went home i told my dad uh i want to play the violin yeah mm. and he was like he sent me for my first lesson on the monday uh Man. the following monday after oh, the friday Man. and then and then i did classical the royal school training you know god save the queen all of that stuff mm-hmm. as well uh, the first time was like screechy vibe i remember Scary. my grandmother like saying i played a song for three years i was playing the same song i never thought anyone was noticing because the violin when you you know when you put your when you got to grind you yeah. you know football all of this yeah, and yeah. whatever we're doing yeah. when you when you focus on that you got to put those hours yes. into Ooh, it 10000 and 10000 hours yeah. and playing it playing it playing it. and my grandmother one day about <laughs> three years later she said You've been playing that same piece of music for three years, <laughs> and it still sounds terrible. <laughs> you got a lot of great ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, wow, that, that actually reminds me. So I was I was practicing the DJ. Yeah. But we, we are, we, there's a thing called looping, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we, we, we take do. the same yeah. record and we, mm. we loop it. Yeah. And my father and I would practice, and my father would just say, "What the fuck is wrong with this?" <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he would tell my stepmother. I wish I could afford like 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 professional help for this lighting <laughs> because it's a cat in a mat it's already cat in a mat music yeah. now mm. is the same part like remember that song mother I just and yeah, I would go mother yeah, mother yeah, mother yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude you must you know people on people's now. nerves man but, <laughs> but it gets better man it, it gets, gets better, better. Yeah, as you practice yeah, some yeah. and then about 20 years later it got better I understand then, no i was actually then i st- i went to university and i studied a diploma in uh, jazz uh, and popular music the same institution i don't know, like zeks pantwini do 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 marketini black coffee that same mm-hmm. institution we were all there um uh, prince pulo we went there and this was like a breeding ground because the university of kuala lumpur didn't want to accept me at first because i was playing uh, jazz and they only had a classical department and mm-hmm. i remember playing for these this group of like old aficionados with classical guys is doing the audition they didn't uh, they afterwards mm. they told me no we don't have a place for you here the Durban DUT accepted me uh and I went in mm. into that jazz program and then uh, two years later DUT's music department amalgamated with UKZN so okay. I ended up going to the university of course in mm-hmm. Natal and then the funny thing is those same two O's who were uh, the professors Goody. who who <laughs> told me not to come years later i was playing at like uh, durban city hall or somewhere like that and they came up to me and they were like wow that was an amazing performance we are also musicians and i was like yeah you guys didn't accept me Yo, into the program you got to throw that one you got to throw that one yeah? you, yeah. that one. you yeah. know uh, you know it's when i was the nice thing hearing about this history didn't you ever wonder like i'm always like an intel said where did the history come of you starting just the dj azul i so just want okay, to say this is, a, this is a question my question when you're going to say that mm-hmm. is what are you doing at 12 12 um I was a naughty lady <laughs> <laughs> so I was shoplifting <laughs> Yo. and, and getting into trouble 7-11 nah that's before 7-11 no Yo. yeah, I was getting into trouble and of course uh was around around about the same time I also got introduced into hip hop as well okay um okay. but I just want to say is it on me actually sh- share something my grandfather was also a frontman for a band as well Amazing. Yeah. He played yeah. sax. So we come yeah. from music. Yeah. 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 It was like that. But I mean, that. the rest of the family like my mother nor my father, I mean, they're not musically inclined at all. Okay. Yeah. Just very really interesting wow. and weird. And you so you were you were you were shoplifted, you ran past the house. <laughs> now I'm getting out with the story. <laughs> 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 you ran past the house. You had someone on the deck. You probably ran past Nantel's house. You yeah. yeah. heard man. But, <laughs> my God. My God. <laughs> I think we were living at the opposite sides of the yeah, world yeah, 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 yeah. And so, so where does it stem from? So, because the Dex is something. Just to the Dex is something I've always 
yeah. wanted of us. Mm. Wanted, where yeah, did yeah. you like? Where's the inspiration to get on the decks? So. I always wanted to be a DJ, but at the time, being a young kid, I could not afford decks because it was just expensive, you know. Um, I got into hip hop. Um, I got into hip hop culture through dancing. In actual fact, what was weird was during the time of apartheid, as we know, you know, there was um, certain images were banned, certain music was banned yeah. as well, you know. But was what was hectic was. There was this music program that actually showed hip hop music videos. Mad. And the first music video that I saw was a music video called "Hey DJ," world class wrecking crew. Somebody was was the name of the crew. That was the first hip hop music video that I saw um, because it was extremely weird. Mm -hmm. There were guys spinning on their heads. There were guys with white gloves doing wavy moves. moves. Mm. There was a guy behind these guys that were performing with two turntables. Mm. And in my house, there was also turntables because Ooh. my father was a huge record collector. And I was okay. like, okay. Sure. And these guys were talking over beats. I've never heard that mm. before. I've never heard people talking over beats, you know? So that was basically my introduction into hip hop. And of course, at that time, I didn't know it was called hip hop, right? Mm. The cool thing though was during that time, every every Friday and Saturday, there was this music program called Solid Gold. Um, and I don't know what the other one was called, but my father and myself, we used to record these music videos. Mm. So if you know about the VHS yeah, era, yeah, yeah. Was so you know, yeah. uh, we, 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 we know, couldn't yeah. wait to record these music shows. Must wait for channel recording. <laughs> yeah. uh, even in that, and what was weird was, like I said, I mean, then you had these UK groups filtering through. Then, of course, the breakdance movie started. Mm. You know, breakdance mm. one, breakdance two. You know, and then it was like, oh, this is this thing called hip hop. You know, and my first my first encounter seeing hip hop in Cape Town was going to the town center with my mom. Oof. You know, and there was this stage, and there was just b boys mm. everywhere. And you know, I was like, oh, I mean, so this is not just happening in, the years, yeah. in America. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it's <laughs> actually it's it's actually, it's actually in Mitchell's Plain. <laughs> this thing is happening. You know. So that was basically, yeah, that's my oh, brief encounter of my... Give me, give me the year. So we're talking 84, 85. That's, that's, that's... Talking 84, 85. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because so I, I'm, as I'm a share history, as we go through, in everything I've, I've saw of everything I've read about you for the past time is pioneer. Can I just, can I correct you? Yes. Oh, they write it most. Yeah, they, they write <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You just get it straight. <laughs> you don't I, say it. I don't it. see myself as a pioneer, though I've been part of pioneering <coughs> things. Okay. Beautiful. I don't see myself as a pioneer because there's a lot of unsung heroes mm. and people that I consider pioneers that don't get mentioned and they probably won't get mentioned. Mm. Yes, yes, we know the Shamil X's, we know the Reddy D's, we know the Emil's. Mm. We know the Rosanna X's, but I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that has contributed uh, to this beautiful culture. And for me, the, the the kids of Rockland's Mitchell Spain at the time, those are also my hip hop pioneers. Because before I knew of, of a Reddy D or Rosanna, mm. there were kids peddling cassettes, mm -hmm. HS cassettes, mm -hmm. sharing all of this information within the hood, you know, before I knew, hey, there was actually a first generation of sure. Cape Town hip hoppers that has already laid sure. some sort of foundation. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, yeah not a pioneer. Uh, I have to I like salute. That, I, like, I like the thing of pioneering. Yeah, I have to salute all, all the people that has come before me and the people that is unsung and never gets a mention. So, mm. so uh, follow up question to that. You speak about being introduced to this thing called hip hop, this culture. How have you seen that from your time, like kind of grow forward into, you know, into here in Cape Town, like how has the hip hop culture expanded, changed? Um, where, yeah, like where did, how did you see that kind of take off? I think, of course, you know, 
um, if you grew up in the 80s, especially with the Michael Jackson craze, uh, the breakdancing craze and that, I mean, our parents thought that that was a fad, you know? <laughs> Just like a fad, it's going to blow over yeah. or whatever. My light is that, you know, spin, <laughs> yeah. spin on the heads and whatever, whatever. Um, so it's cool to, to see it grown or evolved from that into something in the mainstream because mm. look, I'm going to be a bit controversial. Go I still it. think that Cape Town is the mecca of hip hop in this country. Mad, in Cape yes. Town. You know? yeah. If it wasn't for our Cape Town pioneers, I don't think that South African hip hop would have been there, mm. you know. And you can you you can be devil's advocate and even say the entire continent as well, mm. you know. Yeah. If you trace back the yeah, no, as well, could. you know. Yeah. So for me, in terms of the evolution, it, it's cool to have seen it grow from there onto radio. Wow. You know, it's cool to have seen it. Um, evolve into where we have all of these different artists, you know, mm. um, expressing themselves in their own dialect. Mm. Who would have thought, you know, in the 90s, 1990, when Prophets of the City dropped our world, we thought that that would be the only, you know, thing that we would have in terms of a recorded um, material, you know. Mm. But now we have the youngsters, we have the Yimobiasims, mm. we have the Kutesas, the Yomas, yeah. all of these artists, you know, different flavors. So it's cool to have seen it grown from something where people thought it was a fad into something that's ever evolving. Yeah. But I, would, I just want to say something. I think you're being humble, and it's a good thing. <laughs> but, but, no, no, because, um, no, no, no. because you're saying it's cool to see that, that uh, because hip-hop, uh, especially so, uh, African rap, uh, um, Afrikaans rap, yes. it was never played on radio. Eh? Yes. Mm. And, and your crew, with Reddy D and all them, they pioneered being on radio, and now it's like it's it's like nothing. But I I have the the legacy the legacy of uh, or the luxury of 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 being a bit out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I lived through the '90s, and mm -hmm. where we never we never thought that there will be a, a, a um, like a colored or Afrikaans rapper that's going to be f famous not for the culture ask him the 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 the, the mainstream now nah, make him famous whatever yeah. then we got youngster but but yes. but my, my point is you you and ready d and 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 the beat bangers with uh, with easy you pioneered mm. actually that 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 um that phase where where you ushered in that 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 and, and made it more palatable palatable for for people to listen to it so you are a pioneer in that regard right, you, you paved the way like uh yeah i'm not gonna get take credit <laughs> for that but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's the, I know I understand the guys you're going to have to accept the Oscar one day <laughs> Oscar speech like, just thank God just keep it simple keep it simple I, I now see and then and this is going to go again I'll be, oh, what I always wanted to touch on is the principles of the infinite game so the infinite game is a book written by Simon Sinek um, and he speaks about five principles and it's, it's the best thing to see is how when you are long in, an, in any game you are actually functioning in the infinite game. So mm. you playing the game, mm. the, the, both of you are in the mm. same game. Mm. Yeah. I love the it's game, yeah. mm. you're in music. Because you two leave, music stays. That's mm. what the infinite yes. games mean. So there's yeah. two games everybody plays, mm. the finite game and the infinite game. We always have spiritual talks. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an infinite game. Yes. I mean, education is infinite. Yes. If I don't leave education, it's infinite. Right. But we yeah. get people that play the finite game because it work nine to five, yeah. mm. go to play the event. Yeah. Uh, I want to be the best DJ in the world. That, that, yeah. You have a very finite mindset because mm. it's, it's, first of all, it's I. Yes. Um, and which is, you need support. And then uh, secondly, if you're in the infinite game, you're always considering bringing others with you. Mm. Right. So the first thing in the infinite game is called the just cause. So what is your just cause? It means that your goal is so big, but you can have others come with you. Mm. I mm. think the word goal is wrong. I'd rather say your destination Destin is so big yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. that you can bring others along. Yeah. So my just cause in, in one sentence is to add value to the evolution of education. Sure. Mm. So I can add value, I can mm. add value, I can add value. It's not for me mm. alone. Mm. Yeah. It's bigger than me. Yeah. Um, and that's important for, as, as you go um, through your game, you understand what infinite game you're in. Because mm. you, you're in the educating space. Yeah. Um, I want to use that to speak about, when I watched your first video, I, I watched of yourself was the video where you are doing the recording. 
Uh, I was like the loop, 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 the the loop, 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 the the I felt that was that was in, that was that hip hop inspired. You know, like I've been doing it for so long now, and I, you know, I, I don't like terming music in mm. genres. Mm. Beautiful, because, because it's not you know it's um, you know it can have origins in certain places, yeah. but it's not one defining genre. So, uh, yeah, there might be hip hop. What you're listening to is there something hip hop? But that's because maybe I played hip hop at some stage in my life, and that's inside the instrument. Mm. Um, so. Um, yeah, it's 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 all those different things inside there, and just every sort of it's hard to explain it. Sure. You know, if I could just different it, influences. It's, or what? it's all different. Uh, it's basically my mind runs around like a headless chicken twenty four seven because it's, it's seven days a week. Your mind so is that's what you that's what you listen to. Like, so 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 ways like you, you were speaking earlier about like playing, uh, coming out of university way. How did you get your influences to the sound that you have now? Like, what were you drawing upon? What were you reading or, or like finding, whether it were records or CDs? I think it's, I think it's more than that. I think it's, uh, it's in my DNA and it's part of my ancestry. Mm. Mm. So, like I said, Indian, South African, African, uh, person that's traveled the world. Yeah. You know, it's all in me. Those influences mm. are, are, are are in me, and it's like I, I I don't know. I listen to so many styles of music. I see, <laughs> you know, like, people always ask me this, and I find it difficult to yeah. say this. I'm not that. Yes. I can play any genre of music. And That's that, what I can do. Okay, so, sure. So and that I uh, is a fact. You can check. I can yeah. play any yeah. genre. I don't. So I'm not specific. So the thing is like. I I can't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can give you no. a yeah. something close to that is yeah. that your mindset is in the infinite game. Yeah. Mm. Because what I want to say is someone that plays the violin goes, I play classical. Yeah. And that was the two brasses that saw you the first time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're in the yeah. finite game. Yeah. Was, the, 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 the violin is limited to so much. So much. Yes. When I'm listening so to, I was listening to, yeah. your, I was down, deep down in the Azul, Rap it all there, <laughs> my algorithm is to shake me. Other stuff, you, you know, like, okay, it's enough now. <laughs> but you also have this incorporation, and it's it, it always shows that because I felt that with um, I read the, oh, this one article where you were also talking about collaborating. Yes, it was the word used all the time. Yes, you know, it's like the word that stuck out. And so your collaboration is always in bringing in not different genres, but like now with the with the this is what I, the article was about the school. So yeah, I wanted yeah. to get there because yeah. that's the last point in the infinite game. Yeah. That's where you are at. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know you you your legacy. Yeah. So some of the way it spoke about collaborating. And then I looked at the picture mm. and the picture said collaboration. Mm. Because a DJ, a hip hop DJ, should possibly be a colored guy. <laughs> and a and a quieter DJ must be a mm. black guy. Mm. And then you have Ungamla and Tough. Um, what's the, now I'm looking at the picture and the picture speaks to what you stand for. Mm. So again, that's like living in the infinite game. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna speak to you about that. Like how, yeah. how do you feel about that collaboration and then moving it across, not only now, but getting everybody into hip hop now. Because again, like you say, it was in the town center. Yeah. I can only imagine the town centers, everybody, there was probably very little guys from the Kaya coming yes. there to yes. do there. Yes. Cause now we even have the dance yeah. mixing. Mm. Yeah. And that is now people understanding that you're not limited to. Yeah. Because it's not about genre. Yeah. Um, genre is like you said, I think you said it stems from somewhere. Yeah. Um, and I want to speak to you about that. How powerful do you, you do, how, how powerful are you honoring that of collaboration within your academy? Yeah. I think first off that for me, <laughs> you have to understand the box before you think outside of the box. Yeah. Mm. 100%. Mm. So for me with hip hop, even with hip hop, the thing that I love for me, hip hop has its limitations. Mm. Uh, that, that's just my personal opinion for me, Yeah. for me. So for me as a human being, I think that a human being has infinite potential. Mm. I don't think that we were or are created to be like this singular spirit, you know, we are multi-dimensional human beings. I'm not going to feel the same way I feel today, tomorrow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, plays into 
me not just seeing myself as a hip hop DJ, but I'm seeing myself as an artist. Mm. Um, and just like he was saying, I mean, if you if you go down if you go down the rabbit hole um, in terms of the mixes that I do, in terms of the music that I produce, all of that stuff, you will see. 10 to 1, hey, this guy's into heavy jazz, this mm. guy's into other stuff. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. guy's into traditional music, this yeah. guy's into, yeah. you know, um, because I, I don't want to limit myself, mm. you know? And when it comes to the whole collaboration thing, that, that is my thing, that it's, it's just a, hmm, how, can, how, do, how do I put this? To showcase that whether you're the guy from Kaya, whether mm. you're the guy from Germany, whether yeah. you're yeah. the guy from the yeah. Cape Flats, yeah. you know, if we collaborate, we don't just grow on an artistic level, but on a human, human level, level as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, so all of mm. those experiences for me, collaborating with people has compounded mm. throughout the years because. Mm. I've collaborated through my group Brasa Fadika, which is basically mm. the first Afrikaans hip hop band. Right? <laughs> we, and this is, I mean, this is before the Facebook and all of that. I mean, we were headlining concerts that other people of color <laughs> were supposed to head headline, like Springwood New Girls, um, mm. what you call it, Karen Zoit, all of these people. Sure. I mean, if you talk about festivals like the KKNK, you talk about Woodstock, <sighs> yeah. you talk about Up the Creek, you talk about, um, what's the biggest one, Opikopi, you mm. know? We've headlined that specific um, festival for eight years. You know, that's that's good from the Cape Flats. Yeah. I saw you guys. Yeah. 50,000, 100,000 plus people. White people shouting, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm sure. saying. Yeah. Uh. So all of those experiences, that's but one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's but one. Now you have another experience with human beings on on a social level, on a cultural level. You know, so all of these collaborations it compounds and it builds your character. It builds your 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 your, your insight. Yeah. You know, you see the world differently. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um, and in turn, also, I think collaborating with those people, or different people, they also in turn learn, you know? Mm. So you can step away, <sighs> you can come, come back, back compound. just compound, and you grow, yeah. and you grow, and grow. So, so ultimately, that is my mission through music, mm. is to grow. For me, yeah. it's not, if, if I release music, Man, I'm not worried about streams, streams <laughs> and streams <laughs> and whatever. I'm, I'm really like, and especially in the last, I would say the last five to seven years, I've literally been on a vibe. It's like, I'm just doing shit the way. Like, if mm. I feel like doing this now, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Mm. Like, not a lot of people know, like, um, coming back to, to collaboration as well. Yes. And something that you also said, like, in terms of not making one type of music, a lot of people don't know. Like I make electronic music under a pseudonym. Yeah, I've had that's I've a, had music that's Easter egg. <laughs> I've had music play on the radio stations with another name that Mad. was like number one on other radio Mad. stations. You've been arriving to Dr. the <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so 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 the vibe so the vibe has never been. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, but the vibe for me has never been. Like, I've never crazy. been on that vibe. I've Yo. never been on that vibe where it's like, so man, and you make me think we all, I want to make it. Go I don't look, know yeah. what that means. Like, yeah. I don't know how it's for you. I, like, I've never been like, oh, there's a ready deal or black coffee or whatever. Uh, and I need to now, I need to brand myself a certain <coughs> way. I need to do this I need a tiny way box, I need. <laughs> to get to that level. You know, I am very blessed that since 1997, I've been able to see a different country every year. Mm. Of course, COVID man. happened or whatever, whatever. I don't have one million followers. Mm. Sure. Yeah. I don't, infinite games. Have, yeah. I don't have 36 million streams on Spotify. But, but I'm still that, able yeah. to do these things. And these things, and that is only possible through what you were saying, through collaborating with different people. Uh, and that infinite game. It's, the, it's, not even a, it's not even a mission. Yo, as, as you speak, and I just, 
I can hear the richness of of also just like you speak in the collaboration, the traveling, the learning yeah. um, through through what you're doing. I guess there's a question for both of you guys as you've uh, been like traveling. How how have you like not compromised on your South African expression and like given that yet learned and exchanged with with people like where did you ever have this moment you're like at all like I'm a South African doing this and this is my expression also this is like my flavor to what I'm giving what I'm like in my art like mm. yeah how, how mm. is that like for you was there ever a moment where mm. you were like in this specific country and you're mm. like every country <laughs> everywhere, yeah. everywhere i'm proud i'm yeah. proudly south african like i will uh i i think it's nice to educate because when you're in europe they i find they want to educate you know this you travel europe yeah. states mm-hmm. all of this they always want to educate you on their pride and it's nice that they have mm-hmm. this pride mm-hmm. but i'm south african and i'm proud yeah. you know like i'm a proud south african <laughs> i'll stand oh. i went to india and uh there's a jamie fox sketch you know when he steps out the plane and he, uh, the door opens he's like oh man i want to go to ghana i want to go to africa i want to go back to my roots <laughs> yeah. then when he lands here and then the door opens he's like shit i'm american <laughs> yeah. I'm going back. Yeah, I, would, I did that in india yeah. those those doors yeah. open i was like i'm south african <laughs> 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 yeah. and uh, it's the exact same thing with that it's like the i'm proudly south african i educate in the nicest way possible not only about what nelson mandela the anc mm. did and all of that sort yeah. of stuff and how music has changed but on things like uh how our royalties are working here between Sam Rowe, Sampra, Capasso, mm. how that works, educating from where the knowledge mm. that I have mm. in royalties and stuff like gotcha. that, you know. So mm. I, now it's I, I use the topics that I'm good at and that's what I'm going to educate you on that. So right. music and things like that. Uh, the r- race, I do have a knowledge of mm. that as well. Mm. Um, and the, uh, the economic system, I studied economics as well. So I am very, I followed that like in right. depth in South Africa. So I'm like quite... You know, it's like educating people on things that they know. I'm not telling them about lions and safaris. Yes. Right? Yes. The park. Yes. Like, that's it, boring yes. for me now. Or like, what yeah. type of food yes. we eat there? Go, mm. You can Google that. What else for me? <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. So, so I, you know, yeah. right. it's like mm, educating yeah. them on what I know and what I'm good at instead of just... Uh, and I'm, I'm quite... I'm a person that, like, if the conversation is not... Yeah. If it's wasting time, I don't like to waste time, you know? Like, oh. I'm a, I don't... I'd rather be talking about something nice. If you're coming and... Uh, if, I, if I notice there's a little bit of a vibe, sometimes you get it when you travel, like people will talk, maybe they might talk down to you or talk up to you. Or sometimes they're bigging you up because that's the only thing they know in that sure. moment in time and that spirit is there and they're like, oh, they have to feel like they're smiling and talking to you. But I engage, I talk to them, I speak to them. But if it, I find it's not something that's nourishing for my mm. soul, mm. then I move on and then it's very quickly, but not in an abrupt way. But I educate them on the South Africa that I grew yeah. up in. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, you know that's yeah. that's that's way. Where, where do you find your most having to educate people? Like, is there any place <laughs> you've been in? You're like, look at here, okay. Uh, let me explain to you. I am South African. Like, it's, I am. Yes, there is people like us there. We do talk English. I, I don't. Well, you were going to say everywhere. It doesn't <laughs> happen recently. Mm, recently. I mean, like back right, in the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, definitely. You know, just to touch onto onto what you were saying though. Um, I felt like that. You know. Um, a couple of years, I mean, when we were traveling with, especially with BVK Brasavani Cup, because I mean, you're traveling to France, you're traveling to parts of Africa, you're doing a festival like Puko Pop Festival, where you're performing with Lombiscuit, yeah, Pop, 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 mm, yeah. Cyprus sure, Hill, yeah. Kalis, you know, on one stage. Yeah. In Afrikaans, you know, yeah. 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 you know, that's, that's the main thing. You're not, you're yeah. not, you're not, yo, 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 what's up, my chick? No, yeah. you are. What's, what's, what? You, you are on the plane. Afrikaans, yeah. like Afri- Fra- Afrikaans. You're just explaining to people like the next song that you're gonna do means this, and then you just do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so definitely, back then, you know, I kind of was like proudly South African and ripping the country to mm. the fullest, even now. But I think what's changed for me in the last five years was kind of seeing myself more as a world citizen. Nice. Mm. Sure. You know what yes. I'm saying? Because I think sometimes when we label ourselves as this, for example, South Africa, so it's like, uh, you know, we're still struggling to get to that <laughs> level. Whereas, I mean, you're doing stuff on like on heavy levels. Nantel is doing stuff here on heavy levels, the same like the yeah, two of you yeah. as well. So for me, it's like, no, I'm seeing myself as a world citizen. Like, yep. yes, mm. I'm South African. Yeah. I'm proudly South African yeah. for that matter. Yeah. But I think yeah, you also need to kind of train your brain that, you know, just kind of stuck here in South Africa. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, I, Check here. You reminded me some, uh, of, of something now. There's this bra, he went to Spaceman. And he saw, he saw 
a sight of of earth that we we hopefully we'll get to get to see one day, mm. right? But anyway, he sees earth and whatever it spun it spends a couple of hours in 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 space. He comes back, so he says normally when he when he travels. He would feel, hey, but he's American, man. He feels, I, I, I miss home. Mm-hmm. So one day he's in India, right after he came back. He's in India and he says, um, I don't actually feel homesick. And then he realized, oh, it's because of his experience. He's experienced the world mm-hmm. and he realized that we only have one earth and the earth is actually our home. Mm-hmm. Not our little country that's man-made. Mm-hmm. That borders is man-made. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so now you remind me of that now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm only, that's it. Sure. Look, I'm only about the first point of the infinite game, gentlemen. Can we get through it? Yeah, you've been pushing for it. You've been pushing for it. So infinite. Now, thank you for that. I'm definitely yeah. going to read yeah. that book. I definitely, yeah, 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 I definitely have to go down that. So, and, 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 and again, just to me, um, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. 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 But yo, loads of comments, and then my resident guest is here by my side, makes the best. I'm lady. blown away. Phew. I'm blown away. Like, we'll chat about him tomorrow. Yeah, I'll we'll be back. Over <laughs> <coffee>. <laughs> but that's the first point of the infinite game. It's the just cause. Mm. You use the word mission. Mm. Um, and then my thing was like, we all have been growing our professional self. Mm. It's we always a professional. Um, I played my uh, professional football, but I'm always, ca- I was never the best player. I always say this, but I've, I always I was everybody's best teammate in the club. Mm, mm, mm. Best attitude, early mm. on training, laugh, make mm. jokes, work hard, but know my limitations also. But also, if I knew the infinite game, and I spoke to you at the start, I just my infinite game was always my just cause out of my mouth was I just want one PSL cap. Mm. So I limited myself to just one. So that's why I didn't, because that's mm. that's finite. Yeah. Mm. If I had to change it to I want to make the PSL so that I can inspire the next boy. That's an infinite principle. Yeah. It was a bit I, but it's an mm. infinite yeah, principle yeah, at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, looked yeah. further than, and these are, these are, this is where you are. You, you even, you left the passport behind, you're a world citizen. That's how infinite we start thinking yeah. in, a, in our game. Now, the, so the second point he gets to is called the trusting team. Mm. So th- there's five of them. Around the, so it's the, the trust cause, you find your trusting team, then we're gonna get to your worthy rival, then you've got your existential flex, and then it's your courage to lead right. at the end. Mm. Um, but your trusting team, and that's where I want to touch on, is like, a trusting team, first of all, is like an area like this. Because you guys are vulnerable, and you are sharing things that are, are, are we'd say personal, but yeah. you're sharing it. You would even maybe, I don't know, maybe along this podcast, you'll say something, you know, I've never shared this before. So that mm. means this yeah, is a trusting mm. team. It's yeah. a place where you can be vulnerable. Um, you guys have been in loads of groups before. Um, and I'm going to push this to Dylan. You know, Dylan has traveled with groups through missionary work. Mm, Can I yeah. use missionary mm, work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Through mm, missionary yeah. work. Mm, yeah. And that is being comfortable in a trusting team. Yeah. So mm. um, from you, then I want to go there because you've been part of different groups. Um, yeah. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We, we have to touch on that because yeah. that's how you move forward in this infinite yes. game. Mm. Yes, yes. And you guys are in it. So somewhere yes. along the line, there's a trusting team. Mm. It might not have been the first group. Yes. Um, like I said, during 2020, all my people like threw me away. Like all my <laughs> means like threw me away. Like, nah, we loved you, but you got too much to say for your mouth now. Yes. So then it goes to you also like, nah, you weren't my trusting team, but great stuff. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So with you, how do you find that trusting team? Like I'm going to leave now with a group of yeah. peeps. People from different country. Mm. I don't know what they're going to give me. Um, I think, so I did a few trips and you see like repeat, maybe also when you guys travel, you see like kind of like repeated things that happen, whether it's on a set, whether it's a crowd. And I think I just picked up on that and it comes back to what you were saying, knowing my limitations, Mm -hmm. but also like playing to my strengths Mm -hmm. and holding that tension and that balance. Mm -hmm. Like, and then also seeing that in others and having the, you know, having the, humility and and I, I guess also the straightforwardness to say this is your strength but also in in our vulnerability this is this is probably a down for you mm. and I'm I'm not I'm not like speak I'm just saying this is mine this is, you know like yeah. that tension yeah, yeah. yes yeah. and and I think we can always challenge ourselves like hearing from from you guys like you've challenged you've not stayed in this box of specific genre or specific um, 
culture, it's grown to something bigger. Um, so it's challenging, but also yet knowing where you're at in your journey, what you still need, what influences. I think that's, mm. yeah. And then now I have to go to Michael and say, you guys have been, I'm sure you've been part of a group. You've been part of the group. What, what has been in the, in, as, as you find yourself now in your tenure, in your career, it's still going. Mm -hmm. So it's not a career, it's an infinite game. How, how, has, how has been finding your trusting team and not finding your trusting team been? How have, been, how, how have you found your trusting team? What would you say is your core principles of finding people in your trusting team? Sure. And then I'm going to go, <laughs> what is your core principles on somebody you won't put in your trusting I, team? So for me, man, let me first say that, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for team. Mm. There we go. At least, yeah, yeah. We're not playing an I game here. You know Brilliant. what I mean? Um, but for me, it's, it's a bit weird because of, because of my personality. So I'm a bit of a of introvert, right? So it's not like I'm like, hey, you <laughs> come here and you come here and you <laughs> come here. I just kind of... I don't know, just kind of found these people on mm -hmm. my path, kind of attracted them, you know. There's one incident, though, that, you know, that happened, <laughs> <laughs> which I will share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it here yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. No, no, so, so, so I've been part, like you said, like part of different groups. So first group that I've ever been in that I didn't want to be in <laughs> was a, a group called Brasavanika, BVK. I've never wanted to be part of the group, never. Sure. Because I had my own vibe mm. with uh, another female MC called EJ Von Lyric, who has gone on to, you know, be one of the members of Kodesa, which is mm. also a prolific mm. South African hip hop band. Um, so from BVK, did some shows and tours with Kodesa for a while. Then during that time, also I got introduced into radio, UCT radio, did that for about eight years. Through that experience, uh, an NGO was formed. That NGO for seven years took kids from the Cape Flats to Europe. Mm. Uh, so all of these things just happened. It was never like, I want to align myself to this or mm. I want to align myself to that, you know. Um, things just kind of happened organically, you know. And the one, the one slip was... <laughs> I, uh, before there was a South African hip hop museum, as we know it, we had a South African hip hop museum in Cape Town. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Which was initiated by a couple of people. <laughs> and unfortunately, because, you know, you, th you think that everybody in, on the team is on the same wavelength. Mm. You know, unfortunately, something did not pan out with one individual, you know, um, but that also then speaks to what you attract and how people can also take advantage yeah. of that mm. type of thing, you know. Um, but I find myself in a space now with beat bangers, with the DJ Academy that we are busy with, you know, and still with uh, things like GCAP, which is also um, a, a NGO organization um, that I'm part of. These things kind of now is... It's happening organically, mm. you know? Um, mm. And I don't think that, you know, I'm not the type of person that is into the vibe of joining organizations. <coughs> okay, mm. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. To kind of put myself forth or a certain cause or whatever, whatever. It's just, just organically, you know? Um, so, so in your case, you've, 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 you've found the... I don't know, use, uh, the John C. Maxwell always says, uh, I want to tell you where I get my information. <laughs> you're not going to like it. Mm. It's the Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People don't want to hear it. Mm. But that's like, a, the, I mean, he uses always the analogy of Jesus. Jesus didn't use much words for people to follow him. Mm. He just went to follow me. Mm. You know what I mean? And then he said like, why? I am. <laughs> and then he walked on. Mm. So it's because you've, you've, people see the infinite game also. It's, it's, it's very, like you, you start seeing it. Uh, if nobody points it out to you, you'll never know it exists. So when pe people start, they see it in you and then they see them in themselves uh, in the way you first carry yourself mm. and so forth. That's why it becomes organic. So some of us must fight for it for, for, because of, like you said, you started with my personality. Mm. So that boils into 
the, what you attract. Mm. Um, mm. And we all have that different ways yeah, yeah. we attract. And, I, and that's why I would go to like, again, you attract organically mm. because your infinite game speaks through mm. your personality, your energy. And, and that's why I would you'd use the word wavelength. A lot of people yeah. like to say, you know, mm. you're not on my level. Mm. Or, mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you use the word wavelength. Mm. So I'm not saying <coughs> I don't understand you. Mm. Wavelength must go, mm. you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, your trusting team is I'm a, the ability to be vulnerable and the ability to accept criticism. Mm. Not, not take it. I, mean, I can accept Shit. it, yeah. Yeah. right? Not because sure. and that boils down to serenity, yeah. Mm. Like mm. The old school serenity prayer. Yes. Uh, what's it now yeah. again? Oh, what is uh, it again? Yeah. It's uh, actually actually uh, two months ago I wrote it on a page and it's actually next to my wall. I'm just seeing it now. So it's got grant me the serenity to, to, accept, to the things, things, accept the things I cannot change, change, the courage to change, change the things, things I, I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So you walk with serenity. So people go, Pra Azul, you not potent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the wisdom to know that you don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, no, for so sure. that's the difference. And I want to go with that, with that same, yeah. like for, for yourself, like, because <clears throat> oh, I just saw Incognito, Jocelyn Brown. You, yeah, that's what I saw in your bio. And I was like, <laughs> through Incognito, we play anything yeah. Incognito no, for I, me, because that I, was I, me growing up. Yeah, I wish but how do you go, like, <laughs> I'm going to take this job? No, I, I, I opened two shows for at the Jazz Cafe in Camden, uh, in London. I don't know if you played that. Place. that was no, I was actually in London in December and that, man, oh, the, live, the live out. show scene over there is just something else. Yeah. 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 So I, play, I ended up, uh, um, so you've seen it, That's, that, that scene is crazy, that side. Uh, tough, though. The, it's crazy because the Europeans don't, uh, thank you. <laughs> so the Europeans don't like to... Uh, go to the, a lot of the you know this a lot of the the artists from part of the parts of Europe don't like touring the UK yes. because they feel it's very like restricted yes, yes, even yes. before Brexit. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with my core, uh, oh, my how do I grow it I, I, organically? Mm. You know, it's like you got to do it. Okay. I play the violin. <laughs> that's, like, that's what I do. Because I was like so, thinking, like okay, you saw Incognito it, after uh, SMS from Incognito. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to play with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah it's Incognito. No, I did, I did. Now you get like okay, it's a. Oh, that was by. I, so actually, how I got into that was you guys remember uh, there's a show called uh, Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, yes. that was yeah. the first mm. one. Uh, so the what the firm the first uh, season the semi finalist from there Tony Luff uh, asked me to join his band, and. Um, he and I ended up, and this was from the first. This was before when Simon Cult started that. So Tony Laff was signed to Psycho Records, mm. which is Simon Cult Records. From that, so he played a song called "I'm Good," beautiful song. Um, and he asked me to to join his band, and then we opened for we did a tour, and we were opening for like um, Jocelyn Brown and Finley Quay. I don't know if you know Finley Quay. So yeah. we were doing that, and um, uh, organically. At that time, I was still in the hustle, playing with other bands. Playing, I was playing hip hop in London. I was playing uh, what's mm. this? Like I was playing electronic forms of electronic like uh, music, like that deep stuff, you know. Deep, underground stuff. Playing, play, playing jazz. I was playing jazz. I was playing <laughs> jazz shows at uh, there was the Royal Opera House. I played a jazz show inside wow. there, you know, like organically. <laughs> and then, and then it came came back to South Africa. <laughs> Same, that, you know, once you start the mechanism of working organically with people, mm. oh, you know, you get direct and indirect marketing. Yes. Best is direct marketing. Do you, mm. do you, do you, do you think, not that I'm taking over. No, go, 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 yeah. go, go, yeah. go. But, 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 but do you feel you, you operate best on your own? Yes. 100%. Because there's certain things, being what I do with that instrument, there's not many people who believe in it. Because mm. of the sense of, because it's like you look at that instrument and immediately you like you think it's hey, is it jazz or is it mm. classical and it's either yeah. that side. What's this guy doing? So you got to believe in yourself yeah. and you got to mm. do that. Mm. And then you, then that's how the other people come on board. Is they suddenly like mm. oh sure. wait, what is this? This this guy's doing this. Okay, I like that. And then that means you do get some stragglers who are like from the other alternative yes, spectrum. Yes, yes. You know, mm. like I've got some friends who are like from different parts of the world they're not even they're not even from here you know yeah. uh, they're looking they're looking down on earth, you know? <laughs> so, organic is it's the best and you and it's the best way and you do that and you you, you just you move with it you know you're yeah. like uh, you just you're going through this whole thing and you man you learn so much by doing mm. that by just mm. by, by by saying yes you yeah. know we have this thing where we learn to say no People always say, learn to say no. Yes, learn to say no when you're taking on other people's responsibilities. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. But when you mm. are in life and moving through life, say yes. You mm. see that opportunity, yeah. huh? 
Dit is zo, ga je het joch, boils down to, maar je leidt zoals ik zo, I have this thing, Jim Carrey is mijn favorite uh, actor, en uh-huh. Kevin Spacey, maar dan een fan van die was een Epstein Island. Dat is een van de andere dingen. Jim Carrey is, zo, hoe was dat Epstein Island? Kevin Spacey. No way. House of Cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House of Cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
So me, I can, I've got one. I've got the Thailand experience. Ping pong. It's not that Hey, not talk about where the fish came out of. Wrong podcast. South Africa, Thailand. Lots of memories. And then I went to England. Mm. And England started with this book I showed you at the start. Mm. People is like, oh, they bring that book again. In here is pictures of Liverpool, boy from Hanover Park. Little stuff is still falling out, seven years old. Mommy buys a... You know how I knew that book was old? Not from what's inside. Huh? That t- that type of book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the book right. itself. Yeah, I saw that school. book, I was like, that's the one. And, um, it's not a book, Yakovic. Yakovic, it's not a book. put it in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't even know. Here is even the... I, I, I still believe the signature of Morientes and, and Raul. Wow. Because at Man. the ages of 17, they were actually in South Africa. I was grade 7. They were in South Africa. They were only... I was sorry, I was... Ten at the time, they were about they were seventeen because it was the Meridian Cup, mm. and all the teams from across Europe came to South Africa, wow. and we went to watch a game at Athlone Stadium, and the Spanish team was there, Mad. and I had wow. this book with me, and I gave it to them, wow. and then they sent it around, Mad. and they were all signing, <laughs> and then this one year, that here's Ricardo, the goalkeeper of, that takes off his gloves, mm-hmm. yeah, that, that's him, that's his, that's signature. his, that's yeah, him. because then I gave it to the Portuguese team was also there, and then years later I see a signature in this book, wow. R seven. Raul. Wow. wow. Amazing. And then I bring this up because this was my worthy rivals. Mm. This is who I was mm. competing with. Mm. I wasn't competing with the best player I played with in school mm. was Rowan Solomon. Solly, top player. Mm. But he will say, I have an ear attitude. Mm. And so because I competed with, I wanted to be like, right. um, mm. you know, I, I love me a young Sammy, a peer, mm. um, and uh, the players that I, because how big is your world? Yeah. And I want to find out about you guys, like, who's your worthy rival? Yeah. Who's, who was there, who has yeah. to be that yeah. worthy rival? Yeah. And, and, it, and it's big because boys play Sunday league football and then you are good in your community. Everybody knows you. Mm-hmm. If you play top level in South Africa, everybody in South Africa knows you. But if you actually want a worthy rival, you compete with someone that's yeah. existentially better than yourself. Uh, who was your worthy yeah. rival? Uh, DJ Azul. For me, so I'm going to go back to what I said earlier when I said my opinion, right? Mm. 100%. Yeah. These people's going to... Mental put the People's going to like on Facebook, Facebook beef tomorrow. Disclaimer. But in my opinion, like I said, hip-hop has its limitations. Mm. So the hip-hop mentality is based a lot on battling, right? Mm. So coming up, you know, there was this thing, which is a good thing, which is which is a comp- competition can be good, you know, but limiting yes. as well, in yes. my in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, right. So 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 coming up, there was not a lot of DJs that there was your EDDs, there was definitely your E twenties, there was DJ signers. Um, later on, there would be uh, like DJ Willies, um, you know. So, so coming up, you always, you wanted to emulate what all of these characters could do, you mm. know? Of oh. course, you're the characters also that you listen to on, on records, Mixmaster, Ice the Cubers, the Rock Raiders, mm. all of those people. So you wanted to absorb everything and everyone, Here we go. Mm. everyone, you know? For me, in my, in my, in my case, because we're talking pre- Internet, we p- talking yeah, sure. pre DVD. <laughs> Yo. We talking pre, maybe be the beginning stages of VHS. Really, D was the only person sure. that was on a level at that time. Nice. Right? Sure. So for me, even being on school, I used to cut school to go to his house. The first time meeting that man for the first year, I would go to him because I lived in Rockland, so I had to walk from Rocklands to Linter here. Sure. <laughs> and if you know how far that is, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a distance. So myself and my homie, rest in peace, Ronald, mm. we used to walk every day. And sometimes this man would not be at home. He'd be on tour, you know, in Europe or wherever. Mm. And literally for that first year, that guy would be busy making beats, practicing, and I would just sit like this for a year, three hours. Nice. 
Then I go home, and then I practice mm. what I th- what I think would be the right techniques. You know what I'm saying? Um, but to cut a long story short, you then learn, or you become, or you assimilate certain traits of that individual. Yes, right? Because that's your only source, your only physical yes. physical source. You know yes. what I'm saying? So you're absorbing that, you're absorbing all of these things. And at a certain point, it actually becomes too much. Mm. Mm. Then you sit back and you realize, shit, the only person I actually need to compete with is myself. Mm. You know? Yep. Actually myself. Yeah. That's, the, that's, that's why the, the, the worthy part is you rivaling yourself and he was worthy because you felt he was worthy. Yeah. Because you saw your weaknesses was his yes, strengths. Definitely. And his strengths was your weakness. Definitely. So that's why you were willing definitely. to love mm, all definitely. the time. Mm. So, so, so that has been my, I would say for the last, hmm, maybe since late 90s, 2000s, that's been my thing. Nice. Like competing with myself mm. on all levels, not just music. Right. Like trying to be a better person. Professional. <laughs> like trying to just do stuff better, mm-hmm. you know, for myself. Mm. You know, because I think that if you if you do that, all of these those type of things, those little disciplines, basically helps you in your craft and in your art as well. You Oof. know, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah you, who, was, who was the a, a violent yeah. worthy <laughs> rival? Violent worthy rivals. Look, there's. I would. Say, I don't have like a rival. I would say number one myself, definitely. <laughs> Definitely the, 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 the thing that I compete with the most mm. Mm. on every day for mm. the last, uh, the 30, well, how long have I been playing the violin? 32 years, 33 mm. years now. 33 sure. years, the last 33 years, myself. Yeah. And that's the number one. Yeah. Then if you go more like academic, mm. there's like the famous classical, Paganini, which was amazing, mm. uh, like a classical violinist. Um, Warren Ellis, who plays in the band called Nick Cave and the mm. Bad Seeds. Uh, Warren Ellis, the violinist. But he's, he's writes scores for a whole lot of movies as well. Uh, Another great Regina Carter, the famous American um, uh, violinist. Uh, certain elements of even Vanessa May, which was nice because mm. she came out with that pop style. Pop not, style. I don't mm. like Vanessa May style of playing, but it's something that when I watched, I thought I could do this better. Mm. There's oh. the German David mm. Garrett, the violinist, uh, as well the blonde haired guy. You know the typical mm. blonde haired looks cheesy <laughs> as fuck, but that's the way it is. But that guy is. Uh, those are my not. I wouldn't say rivals, but what I don't want to be in a sense. Yes. I like that mm. type of stuff you know like yes. look at the Warren Ellis but then I still take a little bit from all of them yes. because you watch yeah. and you watch that then if then it's not only music so like for uh, someone I really admire Roger Federer mm-hmm. you know now it's like now it's now we go, <clears throat> I go into that I look at look at somebody like Roger Federer that guy was class you know mm-hmm. from his throughout his career Michael Schumacher somebody mm-hmm. like that uh, the three mm-hmm. the Williams sisters mm-hmm. uh, so the, you know uh, they are incredible incredible uh, people then you go into there's there's so many people that I have as rivals that I aspire to mm-hmm. they are my they, they're my worthy rivals it's because I aspire to something that they do in some way and I want to know that's something that I don't have but I want to learn and 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 and, and, mm-hmm. and get, get mm-hmm. my, through nah. mm-hmm. yeah you know, I want to just do that. It's not like I want to be better than better them. Than, or, yeah. It's not that. It's like, I want to learn. Okay, you make your scrambled eggs like this. Mm. Okay, you add some parsley <laughs> right. to it. Okay, I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this and let's see what happens. It's parsley. Mm. I didn't know that. That's how it, it's cooking. Because they've got the success yeah. principles that you see that you need. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw that back to you. Who yeah. else do you listen to? Like in terms of, like we're going like a Roger Federer or like is there, is there that... Maybe a podcaster, I don't know, that you feel that that actually pushes your, like that, that's that one you need, that oh, worthy rival that gets you going. There's a lot, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on a, and this is not on a music level, but because I'll never get there, but when I come back, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like Prince, Prince levels. There yeah. we go. You know, and you mentioned you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's, like that's pushing yourself yeah. on just on, on each and every level. It's You're talking about um, dollar, dollar brand. Yeah. Abdullah Ibrahim. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. You know, that is like, when you listen to that, it's just, Miss. What, is yeah. this ma- what is this man connecting with? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah, those type, those type of musicians are, is, that's what I'm ins- aspiring to. At least the feeling that they are giving people this kind of the same feeling mm. that I'd want to give people when they listen to 
to my music or in the experience of me life. Mm. Yeah, you know? yeah. Th- that's what they is, it tr- is it true with Dollar Brand that he was, because everyone always tells <coughs> you the stories. I don't mm. know if you guys know this, so if it's true, is he, he's, a, he's a genius in my mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what's the word genius? But in my mind, he's a genius, yeah. I would say that. But apparently he was like an intense guy like uh, to work with. Yeah, uh, yes. is it true? <laughs> yes, apparently. Uh, I always, yes. always want yes. to know, because you know you hear all these rumors. I've had one yes. encounter yeah. with him in my life yeah. and you could see. Yeah, he was and like, I went, I went to two, three, yeah. three concerts of him and yeah. you can see this is like an intense man. Intense man, huh? He's an intense yeah. man. So those yeah. are like the values focus. I would take. I would take like the music ele- elements, but yeah. not that intense. Not that. Not intense. That. intense. When yeah. you say intense, what, are, what, are, what do you mean? Is I think the band like members a, were Skrk off though. Like, yeah. Yeah. But he's a perfectionist. <laughs> he's a, a, no, no, no. Like he was just like, he's had a short temper. Yeah. A very mm. short temper. Like a James Brown. Yeah, yeah. Like James Brown. Like <laughs> yeah. a, exactly. I think God gives you like this talent, but he, he can't give you both. <laughs> he can't anymore. give you anything. Yeah. Yeah. But do you think, but do you really think that then? Make you crazy also. Do you really think that? I think you can work on yourself. But I don't think naturally it's, there needs to be something that you need to work on, man. Yeah, like but that, that but that counts for all of us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah but I I, 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 I always tell my wife nobody can be um, John Le- Le- Legend yeah. Yeah. because yeah. he's musically inclined and uh, academically. Is he? Yeah. Is he? Brilli- he's brilliant. He's brilliant. Probably he probably contains. Who's why? Who's why doesn't like John Legend? That's the question. But look at Chris Brown. The Lord said you can dance and sing, but yeah, unfortunately yeah. you're going to be too much or something. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's interesting what you say because we look at geniuses and we look at yeah. people yeah. that have done. <laughs> You know, and they have this other side, of and the they have this other crazy guy. And it's yeah. unfortunately it's always people in in the limelight, people that we, mm, you know, yeah. like it's yeah. your actors or it's your, you know, and it's people that we, it's the artist ver- mm. and and it's art, mm. you know, and I, it's there's a funny documentary on this. It's it's about Hitler and his art mm. that, like he painted like simple stuff, no, like a a tree. Mm-hmm. So someone looks at that, they don't know it's. This man's painted like that's a nice, that's a nice picture of a oh, tree. Yeah, we're gonna sell that for something. Yeah, and then said, "Oh, that's Hitler's art." Wow. Like, oh, I don't know. Uh, not, uh, or, or let's say it's Kanye West, mm. contra- again controversial f- figure in our day and age. Now, you know, um, nothing compared. Uh, not competing, but like we we listen to the old Kanye. Yeah. Listen, uh, and some of, and it's very interesting how. We do that. How we separate the art from the mm. artist, mm. or we or we we murder that. But like, no, this is him. Mm. But no, we still you still bump in his old music, or you mm. this man's art is in, you know what I mean? It's it's really interesting how that relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and sometimes how that reflects in age and in growth and in mm. yeah. experience. So maybe just a, a fun question for you guys: like, what do you put on? You at a party? You get in the car, or you? Uh, about to go for a drive or jog or you fly in some way. What 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 do you put on? What are you listening to? A little cool J head sprung. Okay. Whenever he, whenever he says it, uh head sprung, it sounds like hair's run. <laughs> hey, if you have listened to that, it sounds yeah. like hair's run. Okay. Yeah. That song gets me mm. charged. Like I don't know okay, why it sounds yeah, it says yeah. sound like he says hair's run. If you listen to it, it sounds like he says hair's run. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. You got that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> And a song like a song like Thong Song with with, with his violence. That violinist, you know that violinist that did that, he sent it to the sample to that that I know, I know the story that, actually. Yeah. That, that he sent that uh, uh, to it. That's a that's a brilliant violin line. The song, I don't know, Cisco. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched that video recently? Yeah, <laughs> jumping on the <laughs> surfing on the ears. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. But you 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 listen to that song and say, nah, this is like, oh, that's obviously baby. By, uh, I baby love talk. that. I love I love all that all that stuff. Like all those violin, those strings. Eleanor Rigby on the Beatles. Mm. Uh, mm. Da, 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 da. Mm. I was in Abbey Road. I was sitting at a, a conference at Abbey Road in the studios, and the like, old Bali, British Bali, stood up inside, and he goes, "It was a PPL, you know, PRS and PPL." Mm-hmm. The collection uh, mm. agencies yes, that side, yes, like yes. Samro. Samro. So old Bali stands up. Uh, I'm sorry for all our Europeans. So the old, uh, old white gentleman stands up, <laughs> and, and, he, and he goes, "I uh, played on uh, for the Beatles on the Eleanor Rigby song, and to this day I have not been paid an oh. effing cent." Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In every road, oh, sitting man. there listening to that. But sorry, I get distracted. No. I love all that stuff, man. All of that uh, mm. strings. You have to love it. The good. You have to love the good and the bad. And mm. it's not about saying like ah, I don't like it. I like it. There's something in there that I might like or mm. I can't do. 
and vice versa. That Cisco song, that 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 part. Is, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and remember <laughs> that, 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 yeah. that era of uh, of hip hop yes. had a lot of strings inside yes. of that. Yes. yes. Yeah. Even if you go for the thing. Yeah. Mm, what's the name started with the piano? Um, this is very jazzy. Uh, what is the Dr. Dre no diggity? No yeah. diggity. Black Street. Yeah. Black Street. Yeah. Black Street. Yeah. So again, the, those those inspirations. Yes. Uh, and a, again, that's where you drew your your worthy rivals. You guys, you were drawing all the time yeah. from this. Yeah. Because sure. again, this is an education session. Because there's people out there that don't now. Maybe they after this evening they'll develop a just cause. They'll they'll find out. You yeah, have been competing all the mm. time. Mm -hmm. I've been actually living in the because the competitions are the finite. That's what I drew in the bottom while you were talking. Competitions are finite. Yeah. Mm. Like in football, the 90 minutes is finite. Yeah. yeah. After the 90, yeah. you lost. Get back into the that's Kobe. Fine. You know Kobe. Mm. Yeah. Kobe was like, okay, you're gonna, you, what, do you, what time do you go sleep at three? Uh, yeah, two. Go, he, yeah. he's just gotta yeah. be, he just gotta be better. Yeah. Kobe yeah. didn't need to sleep, he wouldn't have. Yeah. So it's that type of, you were always in it. Because, like, for me, I say I was a seven year old boy in a never park putting pictures of European players in here. Wow. This is not, this, I'm not, there's no PSL people in here. I wasn't looking at South African people. Mm. So it's, 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 it's how we were listening when you were listening to movie, music mm. coming up, when you, when you were going through it and pushing those boundaries yeah, yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. That's, they were worthy, man. Yeah. Yeah. And you going like, obviously there is people that's local that are worthy, but they have the mindset that you want. They yeah. have that infinite mindset. Um, then do you want to drop something? You want to say, oh, oh, because this is where we are now. So now we're flexing, because the fourth point is called existential flex. That's when you get out there, out of the comfort zone. And and I love what you said, because you said it like, before you leave the box, know the box. Mm. Yeah. So you went through those first three steps and now you're gonna existentially flex. You're gonna literally go out there. Like, I'm not just gonna talk about this business around the fire while we're drinking beers. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna open the business. Mm. Yeah. We know that's how, that's, that's like how people think like, I'm, we're gonna get the weekend, give me your CV. I'll try to get like, <laughs> let's start the business together guys. I'm sure we all had that group of friends in school and high school. It was like, yeah. ah, that didn't last us. We even had the band name. You exactly. guys, we had everything and we were like, when you got Monday, exactly. we were like, okay, since the weekend again, yeah. Owens, uh, it's because we weren't willing to existentially flex. We didn't have a just cause. We didn't have, we, we were competing with, hey, we want to be better than them. Mm. So this is an edu as you educate yourself, you get to that point of, are we flexing? Mm. And we, we flex without, it's existentially flexing. Yeah. There's no boundaries to it. Mm. Sure. Yeah. It, it, it's, it can only go yeah. existentially. Yeah. And, uh, and, and like with your travels, um, what's your, what, what is your, I want to say, what's your philosophy when you travel? But um, there has to be a, <laughs> I was like, nah, this is a deep understanding. Stay alive. I was still like thinking, like, you travel so much. Don't be late. 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 Don't walk outside of the first time. I was thinking, don't make eye contact. So, what's your, what's your, yeah, let's go. What's your philosophy when you get there? You go first. Must have my phone. Must be charged. Power bank. Pa, two, two. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> my philosophy is to be overprepared. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. Yeah. Second one I would say is <clears throat> to be there early. Yeah. <laughs> um, number three, when, I would when, say. When you say there early, is this there at the airport <laughs> and there at the hotel? Throughout the whole journey. Throughout the whole band. Yes. Um, <laughs> then I would also say just to get over the first minute of that performance. Because mm. mm. if you're over that one minute, mm -hmm. two minute time frame, then you know, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm flowing, taking it. I'm yeah, flowing, I'm, flowing. I'm, flowing. I'm gonna flow, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna flow. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just have fun with it, man. Yeah, mm. yeah just yeah. have fun. Yeah. That, that, that's basically it. The, the exact same with me. I'm the person where for the flight, I'll get there like before even the airport's open. <laughs> 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 my bag, my bike. <laughs> you you <laughs> want to tell us about your bad experience? It's not like this is really. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. 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 So this have is you, have you, at the wrong you, airport as well. So have you <laughs> started to try to do like, what are you going to go with it? Have you ever missed a flight? Never. Tough. Never Ooh, missed a flight. Cool. Never. One, I was playing, uh, so there was a festival we were doing at the Eastern Cape, which was uh, sponsored by Holly Davidson, and it was like Jack Paro and one of those types of ones, you know, mm. like those types of gigs. <laughs> we went on, we played, we stayed at the hotel uh, uh, across uh, from the place. So the, with the hotel, was beautiful hotel, we could see out. 
uh, over the stage. Absolutely amazing. But then obviously there were girls coming into the rooms and stuff like that. So it turned out being a party because yeah. from mm. the hotel we could see the stage. Mm. And I was like, guys, I'm the I'm the Bali in the group. I'm like, yeah. you know what? Like, I'm yeah. just in general. Always, even yeah. when I was younger, I'm always like, guys, like, I, you know what? We gotta go and sleep. We gotta. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm saying that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, you gotta go now, guys. Come on, let's let's go. So that was the closest I ever came to we uh, to missing a missing flight with a band because we got it uh, late. But my my regiment when I I'm the I'm the probably I go to sleep quite late, but then I always make sure I'm up. Mm. Get everybody pepped in the morning when you're driving, especially if there's a driver. Get them ready and going because you're tra- mm, traveling sure. distances mm. with a lot of gear. I've also got to make sure the gear is all taken care of mm. because people are partying. And in in Europe, there's a lot of uh, remember Oppie Copy when they were yes, stashing yes, that stuff yes, and stealing yes, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know that. You yeah. were there at the same time. <laughs> the the um, um, in Europe, it's a big thing. They've got like syndicates who steal the stuff, so you know the bands your equipment. Coming, proper your yeah. equipment, yeah, yeah, yeah. proper, <laughs> proper, Man. proper. So, guys, <laughs> it's thousands of so they on the. No, no, no. <laughs> you, 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 you must go with a team. You say you, know, <laughs> you, hit, you, hit, you hit down a van. It's like maybe maybe twenty thirty grand in euros Yo. of equipment inside there. You take that in one night. You go through a couple venues. That's couple. <laughs> and there's, and there's just shows. Every- and there's shows. On, all there's shows all the time. But they so you have to be like totally with it. There's sometimes I do slip up. Sometimes I do go like. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do have a party, you know, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. I'm still I'm not the sloppy guy who's falling around someplace. I have to keep a I have to keep a bit off because people have come to 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 spend a to night with me. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. you can party and you know this. Yeah. You can party and you can do this, but you have to at the same time you have to have a sense of um You're a role model. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Stature, yeah. clarity. Stature, yeah. clarity, your role model. The representation, yeah. 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 That's, what, that's what having, like the title of like people, they, 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 they like, like the legend and all this stuff. People always say that, like, you know, they always call you different names, they pick you up. But mm. that comes with a lot of responsibility, no, you know. For sure. Is yeah. that you know, whatever, because no, for I know sure. we don't see ourselves in these terms of these yes. lights or groundbreakers or whatever, yeah. or whatever, or whatever. People aspire to that. So you can't be the, you can't be the, the, the old old, the, the, Passed out on the floor, you know what mm. I mean. That's not the yeah. That's not that's not existentially flexible. That's no. not the, yeah. you know the, it, it, that's, no, no, no. That's that's actually no. a limit, and that's where we you, you yeah. started before with podcast. You said, in, and unfortunately, like I agree with you, Cape Town mother uh, for hip hop, Africa. But you also said there is the glass ceiling. Yes, for mm. sure. So um, John C. Maxwell, Law of the Lid, uh, mm. 21 irrefutable laws of leadership. Yeah. The first law is the law of the lid. Mm. I realized three months ago, and he got over it two years later. Mm-hmm. So the law of the lead states, it's the, that experiment, man, with the, with the fleas. Yeah. When you put the, put the fleas in the, in yeah, the thing yeah, and you close yeah. the lead. And then you keep it, take it off. And then yeah. take it off two yeah. weeks. So the law of the lead operates in yeah. anything, no matter yeah. how, uh, how much. So me, I always felt like I functioned at a 10, but when I was in the mainstream system, the school functioned at like a four. Yeah. Mm. So no matter how much of a 10 I am, I'm always yeah, limited to the yes. lead. Yeah. So yes. we create the glass ceiling. Yes. And the glass ceiling is when you don't start, like we can't existentially flex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're going like protecting my culture. Mm. Yeah. It's like the, I mean, I, I've watched people in America do reviews of youngsters' music videos and how blown away they are. Mm. And I'm like, but youngster go to them. Like we need you to them. And like mm. they need, mm. because when I watch, Take and because my the, my friends in America are like no vegan you don't you don't get youngster they yeah. searching there on YouTube you don't want to yeah. pop up they must deep dive yeah. Yeah. they yeah. must yeah. literally yeah. 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 CPT yeah. 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 yeah 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 I watched this one review of youngsters singing Wifey. So he mm-hmm. does the, in that one studio and he's just chilling and he's just doing that. Yeah. But it's a, it's a different yeah, youngster. So it's, yeah. a, it's a single, yeah. single shot time, some single shot Sundays or something. But this people reviewing's minds with the way they were going on, like, oh my God. Then they watched Yasus. Then they, mm. uh, and then they were just like, and then it goes to me like, Yo, like we need to existentially flex. Mm. Yeah. We need to leave our shores. It mm. needs to, and it's accepted. You've shown it. <laughs> you show it yeah. you show it daily you live it daily mm-hmm. it's where people need to get to like I push the footballers I say no I want to play for Cape Town City I'm like no go to Europe yeah but you, just go to Europe don't make it mm. this is what happens look at this you go to Europe as a footballer 
I don't make it. I come back. I tell a captain team, I was in Europe. They're like, oh, yes, come. <laughs> the week before you were there, buddy. Yeah. You were shit. Yeah. Mm. So you went to Europe, they told yeah. you you shit. Yeah. But That's because crazy. the shit they told you in Europe, we like that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. How it's crazy. Works. Crazy. Yeah. How it That's works. crazy. Crazy. Love the lid. That's crazy. Love the lid. Bad. Love the lid. So existentially flexing is that showing that you throw it out there. Mm. Yeah. You know, release the track worldwide. Yeah. Mm. Um, start the YouTube channel. Mm. Start, start, start the, the podcast yep. platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the flexing part. Yeah. Um, and I was telling Dylan, like, we were, we, we were chatting, I'm like, I need, we, the, our conversations we have is yeah. this is where we need to flex it. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. that's like the ongoing thing. Like, this conversations we're having with you guys, being in this space, is like ongoing from the conversations we're having the week. Yep. Mm. Like, you were speaking, what was it you were speaking about? Rick Rubin <sighs> in the week. And the. Yeah. I'm Rick Rubin. Have you guys heard of Rick Rubin? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. the. The producer would know. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's yeah, me. and and we were just like, you know, but it's open. It's like, and and you were mentioning the law of the Lord. You were mentioning South Africans uh, uh, abroad in America. One of the most, like, I don't know what the feeling is, but like the funnest feeling for me is to follow somebody's career and then see them jump on on this, you know. So for Lyle Foster, mm. playing next year in the Premier League. South mm. African finally playing in the Premier League for Bernie. But I've I follow his followed his career when he was in Sweden. Was it Sweden? Yes, yes, yes. Playing yes. in Sweden with mm. uh, another colored guy, LaRue. Yes, 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 yes. And it's just like uh. we don't know, and then here's a pop up, you know. Or for example, uh these guys that show up on uh, Sway. So in the morning there's uh I think three South Africans. Three South African yeah, rappers. Nasty, nasty killed it. Yeah, nasty. Um, Stogie also. Like, Stogie Stogie killed it. Yes, Stogie killed it. Yeah, that's the one. Stogie killed it. And, 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 and Stogie. <laughs> <laughs> but Stogie yeah. killed it. But they must, we must get youngsters. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so we followed because mm. now, we, and then you get that excitement that, yo, we, we you know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, and, so. And, and we have our own, like, like, like I just, I, I follow, even with the DJ Kerry, and I can just, you know, one day you see all that, mm. and I'm, I mean, I'm not, it's not, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. We can just add mags onto it. Mm. Like, you know, tiny disc. I, I mm. love, I love, we all mm. love tiny disc. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, like I'm sitting there like, you know, and I've, I've, I've seen a couple where we've tried, like there's the one, the, but it's always sponsored by alcohol. So I don't know. It's, <laughs> there's one where I was watching Boosie, but mm. she had a, uh, oh, also. The boiler room or no, not the boiler room. It's not the, the boiler room. Boiler room is, boiler room is so nice. Like, yeah. 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 Gotta love yeah. a boiler yeah. room. But again, it's, is boiler room us? I'm, I'm, I'm no, asking you. Okay, UK. UK, 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 so UK, UK, like UK. us representing us. Can, can I tell you yeah. why? This is my opinion. Why I think that. Yes, is please. In Europe and America, they are industries. They are yes. proper regulated industries mm -hmm. where the intellectual property under the Berne Convention that was signed years ago and then changed covers intellectual property. Mm. That goes down to, and this is not conspiracy. That's why no, yeah. certain countries couldn't produce the coronavirus because of uh, the couldn't produce the uh, couldn't produce the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> certain countries couldn't produce those vaccines yeah. because the intellectual property on those on those certain things you can't on those pharmaceutical mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. Now the the thing is. With music, the stuff, a lot of the stuff was set uh, post uh, World War II. Mm. These new laws and everything, the changing and stuff like that mm -hmm. that happened. And the music industry is there. These things are regulated, you know. Whereas here you can do it. When you say it's a ceiling, you can do this and you can have all the stuff. But if it's not monetizing yes. in a certain mm. way. You know, Joe Rogan started yeah. his mm. yeah. podcast. Yeah. That guy, remember when he started his uh, certain things I don't agree with, but I love Joe Rogan. Mm. Yeah. As well. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We want the setup. Look at the setup. It's like loads of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like Jordan Peterson, I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy. But sometimes Jordan Peterson says some hectic things, and all the guys that are on there, you know, they, 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 they all this Andrew Tate debacle that they're speaking about now. For example, like all of these things, the the thing is, it's monetized. Can, mm -hmm. can I ask you a question? Yeah. As somebody has traveled and especially, yeah. you know, you, Cape Town and Durban's got like a similarity, when, yeah. you know, when it comes to what you are referring to, industries. Yeah. Yes, we have talented musicians, yeah. talented sports people, mm. etc., yeah. etc., yeah. etc. Et Amazingly talented people. But in comparison with Johannesburg, in terms of the, what you're talking, that monetizing mm. aspect is not there. Yeah. Do you think that is created or do you think it's just 
because of where we are situated. Well, there's a, I, I did a I did a um, I did a course through Berkeley, uh, and the guy that did it um, that was um, the head of that uh, that course. He said that every time it gets played, somebody gets paid. That was he saying. Every time the music gets played, mm. somebody gets it's paid. paid. So you think about that. Every time music gets played, mm. somebody's getting paid. Mm. Okay, that was the motto of the whole course that I did. Mm. Right? It was a music. Uh, it was a music business course. Mm. Uh, so when you take it back to that, where where is that money going down, and in these industries, and who's holding that, and it's created? I strongly think that it is created that way. Yeah. Oh, Because yeah. people know how to. Exploit the system. You yeah. know, it's called exploiting yeah. the rights. <laughs> That's the terminology yes, yes, for the right. Exactly. The exploitation of rights. Yeah. So, so um, I know people like like Grimaus complains that it, 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 he doesn't get his money from Samuel. Mm-hmm. There was a cons- like with, 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 when I worked at um, at Group FM, I played on Group FM. We had to do the the purest forms. Yeah. No. At, at the Sam- does SABC still doesn't pay any royalties? But this is yeah. Uh, this this is, is another conspiracy. Mm, mm. So <laughs> they they say that remember the 1910, 1910. Yes, they did that. They changed it for yeah, yeah. They, they actually changed it because they didn't want to export the money because they wanted to loan the money. Yes, because we, yes, but allegedly, yeah. I'm yeah. because the two big uh, houses that uh, hold up uh, the broadcast music industry and ASCAP, right? Uh, so these are the two major royalty collection agencies globally, right? So these are the big players you're talking about, yeah. and they collect that. So now everyone's grabbing from that. I read the report on the D- Department of Trade and Industry about the royalties, Capasso, Samro. So it's available public for everybody to read. It says that. The system between Capasso, Samuel, and everything. Although in the report it says that although this whole system has been set up, it will take too long for them to figure out a solution. It's in the actual report itself. <laughs> so in that time, if you've got if you've got a hundred years, imagine how much money you can make in a hundred years from sure, artists. Yeah. Sure. You know, but it's not only in America. We having it done on a smaller level, but it's still millions mm. and millions mm. and millions. Mm. Um, and there's a, f- a friend of mine, Fergus, wrote an article in the Daily, Daily Ma- Maverick released a couple of weeks ago on why so many South Africans are d- artists are dying, starving and Something. dying. Yeah. Mm. And you think about that; it's it's a brilliant article. Mm. I must check it out. I'll share it with you guys. But I think it's I think it's it's created. Yeah, it's created. It's one hundred percent created. Sure. If you know the system, it, but don't no. you think we we <coughs> with the Don't you think that maybe radio is becoming obsolete and TV as well because we have the internet? And don't you think yeah. that that all that that negativity yeah. that yeah. came with that yes. is yeah. going to fall away eventually? Definitely, definitely yeah. fall away with that. And then you'll still get some business person who find a way to make like Spotify, yeah. who find a way mm. to take that podcast, make mm. money from that, mm. and then they're sending up rockets into space, <laughs> uh, uh, Spotify. <laughs> but they artists they pay yeah. them like zero point zero 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 two percent two cents on sure. a song. Uh, but like, that's why also we as as creative sure. people, mm. not just people that make music, even podcasters mm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. You, we need to yeah. look at at things like the blockchain as well. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. those different the, things. The, the yes. infinite game. Yes, is very important. Is <laughs> where we're looking for every other avenue. Because yeah. I'm going like, mm. I'm telling every artist. So you need to go study teaching. Also. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you can have that. Yeah. Yes. I agree, agree with yes. 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 Me, no, no, I am. One hundred percent. I'm at the point of wanting to add an extra name into my to to blast uh, <laughs> yeah. throw in an extra A yeah. for mm. business life yeah. academics mm. arts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Hey, because in the infinite year the arts don't change. No. Mm. These are all the this I'm um, educator, school mm. subjects, the finite subjects, economics, decent. Yeah. That's what I chose for the kids. Life science, decent. I took economics for the children. Why do I say I took it? Because I could choose their packages. Okay. You know, schools give you like yeah, this, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they don't tell them what yeah. they can do with it. Yep. Yeah. So I got economics my children, so that they can talk and understand mm. Mm. Yeah. the economics about the world, which starts in their home. Life science, because you can understand the well, the wellness of your body. body. Yeah. Yeah. Mathematics, because it's going to teach you that practice yeah. makes permanent. Yeah. And that the relentlessness fighting that yeah. you can go through. English of recons, let's do it. That's uh, compliant. We mm. have to do that. Sure. And. Um, The others, obviously, then life with 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 life orientation as a life in leadership, yeah. I call it, is teaching them these principles, yeah. yeah, and letting them understand that, like you say, all these things that they are not understanding when you go into an industry, mm. you will actually come out, starting to understand that now I need to flex, yeah, I can move further than just sitting around a fire, right? Now we started the business, yeah. what next? Yeah. yeah. So now we made money. Mm. But next, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, uh, there was a time there was like a boom of events companies. Mm. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also yeah. everybody yeah. starting yeah. an events yeah. company, yeah. 
And I'm just wanting to, I don't know, with your course you did at Berkeley, the saying was the more... Every time the music gets played, played, someone, someone gets, gets played. played. So I'm looking at festivals. John you know, every, Kellogg, everybody's John like, Kellogg said that, hey, yeah. you need to go to the festivals in the Joburg, yeah. you need to yeah. go to the Joburg. Mm. We, then we came with like a clubhouse camp out thing, I remember. Mm. And then there was, and it's, it, for, in my mind, um, it's just thinking about it, it ties in with the same thing. When, some, when it gets played, yeah. we don't play our artists enough. Mm. So again, like mm. he's not gonna get paid if you don't play it. Yeah. So yes, you're gonna fight with me because um, so I come in, my kids we do a listening test. I drop on a youngster track. We can listen to four or five of them. Yep. Kid goes home. Mommy's like, you know, swearing. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> oh, I know. I, I, I know. <laughs> I, I can hear you swearing. But I explain to them also. You can't go home and go say this to your mom. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Of course. Now I'm also teaching. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Yes, of course. And that's him. He's just rapping. I'm yeah. sure if he comes in home, he's going to greet yeah. you. So mm-hmm. yeah. there's a lot of things happening here. <clears throat> I'm not, we're not just fighting against that. So now with leaving the mainstream education system is the ability to flex, is the ability to share with artists that you can be more than just yes. an yes. artist. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? You yeah. can be... <clears throat> um, another, so I was always thinking of like artists assisting artists. Mm. Like what the two of you are doing, mm. you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Artists managing artists. Yeah. But before you go in the deal, give me a call. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Don't go mm. in alone. Mm. I was giving a talk at Copa in Durban, the uh, Center of Performing Arts. I gave a talk on music business uh, mm. last year in September. And these, these kids, like studying music, they didn't know the difference between uh, a sound recording right and a publishing right. Mm. Mm. So that's the problem there. If you don't know, mm. if you go to, if you go and buy a Streetwise 2, you know it's two pieces of chicken and yeah. chips. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know that. Yeah. If someone says Streetwise 2, you just know, okay. But you're a musician and you don't know what the sure. two major mm. rights are from extracted from your one song. Sure. So that's how they manipulate that. They yeah. can exploit you because if you allow it to yourself to be exploited, who do you blame? You only have to blame yourself at the end. So you are... You are <laughs> little, I need to be very careful. I don't want to out somebody. No, that's, it's okay. What, yeah. What's happening now, no? Yeah. I, I said this a couple of years ago that podcasting is, is, is the new hip hop. Yeah. No? So, so, I'm just going to say. Yeah, that. go. So, I collaborated with somebody, right? For, um, for, 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 um, for content. We're supposed to share the content. You get mm. the studio, uh, we share. So, now, so, um, news media came in and they want that podcast. Mm. So I was like, dude, they owe us. Yes. Mm. It's supposed to pay for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the guy is like, oh, how do you mean us? But he said, <laughs> okay, but that's, that's a different story. <laughs> okay, that's, that's two sides of the story. <laughs> the us story, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> but I'll get over it. I'll get over it. The us part and the, and the part was where I'm like, with it, okay, you can don't pay me, man. But mm. they still need to pay you then. You, yes. Because mm. his, his, his argument is they saw it on his platform. Yeah. But the thing is, he says, no, no, no I'm going to give it from, no. it will open up doors. And I'm like, dude, the no. door is open, open already. already. Mm. Yeah. So you're giving away free. And, and, and th- thank God, hip hop actually taught this to me, right? The, the fundamentals of the business side of, of music as well. You waiting for a door to open, mm. but the door is already open, but you giving away free yeah. to a company that's, I think it's 8 billion rand worth, yeah. and you giving away free. Yeah. No, dude. No. Yeah. There's this guy, Fani, some, somebody, he took pics of Madiba when he came out. Mm-hmm. He's a journalist, yeah. uh, he's mm. a photographer. Yeah. Nobody can use his stuff, obviously, without his permission. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's exactly yes. the same thing, yes. dude. Are you guys, did you see, exactly. did you see Snoop Dogg? Uh, did you guys see on baseball what you said? Did you watch that interview with Snoop Dogg recently where he's talking and he, at he's giving a, a yeah. talk? And yeah. he says, well, it's sort of, we're sitting here with all the best thinkers, like, in this room. And why are we not getting paid for the for the streaming? We've got, yeah, like, 500,000 or five, 5 million streams. Where we, where's our money going? So if a guy like Snoop Dogg is saying something mm. like that... Yep. And then you just said it. A guy who takes a photograph has the copyright for that. You can't use the photo yes. without it being. Sure. If somebody claims it, you get that money back on it. But with per, a person who spends and Prince used to advocate for yes. this as well. Yes. A person who makes this piece of music, hires everybody, hires studios, yes. hires the music, spends like I, I, I've spent. I've spent a lot of money recording music, mm. you know. And I know. And then suddenly <laughs> you get what twenty two cents on a I song. Think, but, yeah, but Prince refused yeah. a feature with Nas. He yeah. said, "I don't want the money. To, I want the money to go to you. Yeah. If you weren't on the label, I would have yes, made that but, the song with yeah. you. Because uh, you, your, 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 your future generation still needs to 
can 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 eat of it. Yeah. Yeah. But now they can't because he's he said I don't want to send the record labels kids to college. Not college. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm. That's what he said. Yeah. But like artists are on these things now, like the yeah. independent the movement, independent movement, movement the, the even the finessing. Yeah. I, it's Frank. We earlier speaking about Frank Ocean. Ocean Have you heard how he finessed? I think it was Def yes, Jam. Yes, yes, yes. Mad. Yet I think it was a. <clears throat> it was supposed to be two albums, three albums, or a certain year, a few years. But then he released not the album. He released like it was on iTunes, like a a movie almost. Okay. And then and people streamed it, but and then the next day, because that was the end of his thing. I don't know, but then the next day he dropped the whole album. The real album. The real album, album and his own. And his own, yeah, yeah. So he yeah. finessed that whole thing. Mm. Like the whole, it's it's crazy like that artists have to be, it's now not just music and your talent. Yeah. yeah. It's educating yourself around yes. how to maneuver around That's, these. Yes. That's it. Uh, yeah. Flex. That's it. Like the guy who don't read the book. It's yeah. just the same as the, yeah. mm. the illiterate mm. yeah. So That's you it. have to, you, have you to. can't just come yeah. here and yeah. say, I play the violin. Yeah, you, you can't. I stand mm. and play. You can't. I am the DJ, yeah. I just DJ. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I am the DJ. Yeah. So me, I am the podcast host. Mm. I made yeah. the flyer. Yeah. I put the words on the yeah. flyer. I <laughs> sent you guys the invitation. Yeah. I put out the questions. Yeah. I have to school myself, <laughs> put the yeah. on Canva, yeah. Yeah. do the, mm. yeah. because I want to flex. Yeah. So who are we going to wait for? And Vusi Tembakwa advocates to this too all the time. Mm. Vusi Tembakwa, and I mean, vusi has been on, what's this, our top speaker, what's 750, mm. 750k an hour. Mm. Um, that's, he's, uh, my law number one, just start. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He says, uh, Vusi Tembe, we underestimate the power of starting when you are not prepared. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Yes, mm. I think that's one of the best yeah. beliefs you can yeah. have. You'll learn it from every every step you and learn. You go, like, you and you go, and you go. Yeah. Mm. And then, yeah. then again, once you you get in those principles yeah. and you walk, so the yeah. the last part to add is the courage to lead. And now you're at the leadership point. And my mm. podcast motto is they growing your professional self. You spoke about it like you always. There's a, a certain way you carry yourself. We say, but because you said something earlier, and I was gonna say is you have the courage to lead yourself. Mm. It's leadership we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're struggling with in this country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what we're struggling with in every organization. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're struggling mm-hmm. with in groups. Yeah. It's leadership. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. don't understand the leadership principles. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Like mm. we, re- we lead wrong. Like mm. uh, there's five, there's four times types of leadership. So uh, production leadership, which is the lowest level. So production, performance leadership, permission leadership, and then right on top is pinnacle leadership. Mm-hmm. So with the, with the other three production is I listen to you, I will let you talk because you produce. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you know you do a lot. You're in the group, so mm. now you cannot yeah. talk. Yeah. But you don't do much. You only do. You only do the shaker. Mm. Yeah. So you you don't you, don't, you, don't, you know what I mean. Yeah. Your instrument is pop. So yeah. Yeah. you don't have the same. The cowbell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you the cowbell. We <laughs> want more cowbell. Yeah. 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 More cowbell. Yeah. 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 You you not Beyonce. You you not Beyonce. So unfortunately, you stay there in that corner, um, and then. Uh, <laughs> now you're the four leaders, four leaders. So, yeah. and yeah. then you get your, your permission leadership I allow <clears throat> you to talk but you must also my position permission mm. that's the worst one mm-hmm. that is um, yeah. what is this policeman mm. yeah. fireman don't respect the age respect the rank yeah. yeah so unfortunately certain industries they go on that permission yeah. leadership yeah. transactional y- yes yeah. you must also my permission but where yeah. we want to be is the top two Right, so there's Pinnacle, which is your Nelson Mandela, um, Martin Luther King, because they just reached that Pinnacle point where we, we know um, Hitler. Hitler, I, like mm. why I said I love you, Hitler, like I studied Hitler, Hitler was a, a orator. Yeah. So yeah. I looked at my yeah. orators like mm. I can study Hitler, like Hitler, yeah. Mussolini, yeah. Yeah. Stalin was yes. 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 Um, Now Trevor Noah, I'm like the mm. way he's, because Dave Chappelle them is all giving that man kudos yeah. for his orating. Yeah. Mm. So that is... The pinnacle leadership. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll get there, but it's it's a lot of work. Mm. Yeah. So where we are at is and where where leader pe- people leadership don't understand is transformational leadership. Mm. Yeah. Mm. People listen to you because you make them better. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And that's why our leadership is always. That's why we don't. You don't have the courage to lead. You now have the courage to lead. You leading a DJing academy. 
Yep. So you have to carry. You, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately for you, you literally have to watch everything you do. Yeah. You can't want to decide. Yeah, I smack like a binge night now mm. to um, lay in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> I have. You have to have the courage to lead yourself well. Yeah. I was literally a soccer fan, but I was saying, if I knew what you drunky man, I'm like, yo, I wish I used to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I used to be like that. Too. Yeah. That guy was laughing on the side of the field. I'm like, yeah, I was like that too, but that was 32, man. Yeah. He's like, oh. Because I've, I've, I have now the courage to lead, to be mm. here and share my, even those who know now you were a crazy footballer, yeah. right? mm. you, you the thing you did, how you crazy you were, but the courage to lead. Mm. Having your academy, how does it feel having your academy on your shoulders? What's the, because my, my, what is your outlook on failure? Mm. Somebody mm. comes in your academy, what do you see as a failure? What do I see as a failure? When someone comes in your in your academy, because that would be your somebody goes. Ah, well, how do you how do you want to shape like? Yeah, but I need that word. That word is fail. That word fail is very important. Oh, but failing is good. There we mm. go. Failing is good. Mm. And go. And yeah. that's how we learn, man. Right? And that's how you. That's how you. That's just how you evolve, I, like. Man, I failed a lot of times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Got it, yeah. But we fell forward, right? <coughs> like, yeah, yeah. like failed on ideas, mm. failed mm. in business ventures. Mm. Brilliant. You know, so so I wouldn't again with the team mm. and not having failed. Wouldn't be sitting with you guys, and I'm sure all of you guys can attest to yes how failing has helped you in yeah. your lives. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, falling upward. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, def it's definitely a <laughs> actually paradox, but yeah, it's <laughs> actually one of those ingredients that's part of your success. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This, I, I need that to come from from you guys. I, I like what you said earlier. Like, unfortunately, you have to take on the mantle of the things that the people write about you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> mm. as well. mm. So, yeah. but how do you feel about failure when you fail? It's tough. It's tough when you fail. You feel it. You mm. feel it, and you have to sit and you have to take it. And if you take that failure, I mean, you think about it on, on an average in a day, I'm getting maybe 10 rejection emails on a day, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm always doing my stuff on the grind on what, for my, my stuff, getting some sort of, well, no, I'm exaggerating, maybe, maybe, but there's, there's quite a few rejections on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So I have to get a strong, thick skin on that. Mm -hmm. It's not, or not all, uh, it's yeah, not yeah, all yeah. golden, rosy, all, yeah. all rosy mm -hmm. and josy, mm -hmm. and it's, it's tough. And uh, so you take that failure and sometimes it's tough, man. You just got to go. But I think society teaches, uh, especially youth, and that's what, I'm, what my thing is. Like you teach them like, oh, you can't, like, uh, oh, don't fail. You must only succeed. Hmm. Mm. And that's such a bad thing to toxic. do. Mm. Toxic, yeah. toxic, toxic, toxic. Because you build this toxic, uh, I want to say it, masculine in a, in a large sense. Yes. Yeah. Toxic yeah. masculinity, so you, build yes. that, you build that. And then you, you train these men, you get these hardcore, like, you know, that's what they must succeed. They must provide for their families yeah. and they must be the man, the paternal, you know, the, the, oh, the caveman. Oh, yeah. there we go. This is what we're yeah. doing. And then you can't fail. And then when you fail, that's why the suicide rate is so high. Yeah. Yeah. Because... And the other, yeah. Because you put it, how many, and I'm sorry, like there's a lot of pressure from the communities on, on, mm. on, on, these, on the youth, you know. And if you're a kid who's, you get up in the morning and you don't have life, lights in your home or you're having a cold shower and you must get up and you must still go and eat like this and do that and go to school and still get kicked down there and fail a subject uh, you know and you don't have that positive person like being like hey it's okay you fail today get up tomorrow and do it mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. you know that's the problem mm -hmm. so that's where the failure is uh, <clears throat> that's what I admire about checking your place out where you the students that you were there because yeah. man they like just coming in those kids were just like pumped <laughs> It's my school, let me show you what's going on. Yeah. And, it was, and it's nice. But failure, failure, you, like you said, you have to, it's, we fail. Yeah, yeah but you, so what? You fail. study, uh, um, Hayes, you touched on something I think is so important that we can't overlook that how, when we deal with failure wrong, that toxic masculinity. If yeah. it takes yep. over, we that coping. It's changing now. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, I think it's, that's a point of like, like how do we fail fail good you know how do we how do we not you know deep dive into that lonely place as as gents you know like yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. failure yeah. can can I, can I just tell you guys something about <coughs> yeah. it, 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 it yeah. comes to 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 your team 
one of your team members. So I was, a, I'm not going to go into the details, but I, um, the DJ competition, the, um, the laptop basically, basically failed on me or whatever. Mm. And I tell the story to D, dude. And the first thing that D says, he says, dude, you can't pay for that. That lesson that you learned there now, no? mm. the universe gave it to you and there's no amount of money that anybody can mm. pay for you to learn that, mm. to yeah. experience that and grow from that. Mm. I was like, what the fuck? It <laughs> 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 something so like that, that, that could make you that as, as, as what what nightmares are made of mm, yeah. Yeah. That's and, it, and, it, and it twisted it into yeah I can work for him it's weird so I can learn you know what I'm saying yeah. and, and, and dude now imagine having that that yeah. that that type of energy that, in your team dude he said that's earlier that's why about, I like what you're doing by that's the way. why uh, yeah. that's why you said earlier genius genius mm, yeah. and that's what genius mm, is yeah. that was one of the definitions I got recently yeah. is that just someone that can take something so difficult yeah. mm. and just make it just, yeah. yeah just um, and I mean um, fail forward fail forward that's your wife saying that fail forward fail forward wife yeah and I was gonna say like Azul you mentioned it and you used your hands even people don't understand this it's the one of our genius of the world Albert Einstein the eighth mm. wonder of the world is compounding mm. We don't teach it in schools. Oh. We teach children to save. Mm. Yes. This is on a monetary side. Yeah. Yeah. We don't teach them to compound. Yeah. Today yeah. one rand, tomorrow two rand, yeah. Wednesday three rand, yeah. four rand, five rand, yeah. so yeah. forth. We go one rand, one rand, one rand, one rand. Yeah. And then we also don't teach compounding. Yeah. And Azul, you were speaking about, this is where your courage to lead comes because everything is compounded. Mm. Yes. Mm. Everywhere you've led yourself have compounded. And things compound, unfortunately, both ways. Yes. yes. The yes. easy one is the negative one. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. 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 So, and the easy ones, like I was explaining to one of my kids, he's like, I had to tell him, like, you can't, at the, it's a very healthy drink he was drinking, but I was like, you can't have it all the time. <laughs> the time. Yeah. And he's like, nah, but it's an egg healthy. And I'm like, you can't, too much of a good thing. It's bad. It's it well. couldn't, it didn't hit it, like he couldn't fathom. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, too much of a good, but mm. it's in good. Mm -hmm. But I mean, mm. like, so I'm like, okay, sugar. Yes. It's like, oh, it makes sense. I say, okay, too much of a good, too much sugar is like diabetes. I'm like, nah, that's not going worse. Too much. He said, what's worse? I say, frotana. <laughs> what's more, what's that? Uh, rotten <laughs> tea. Yeah. 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 So he's like, yo, I say, yeah. 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 So yeah. everything's yeah. gonna, it goes worse. Yeah. It yes. doesn't stop. Yeah. Mm. Then your yes. body starts, and then he's like, oh. Then I say, now check the good things. The good things start with not just changing your attitude, mm -hmm. just your mindset. Mm -hmm. If you do something with a positive attitude, guarantee it's mm -hmm. going to be different to when you do it with a negative mm -hmm. attitude. You don't smile to do the dishes, mm -hmm. but if you just go do it mm -hmm. with a positive attitude, you'll start whistling, you smoke with music on. It's, yeah. it's just, a, it's just a, the, the changing of the... So at the end is that we all are in an infinite game. Yeah. yeah. And the one thing we, we always, we all will always fight with is people in the infinite game with you. But one thing I have to always reveal to everybody is that you can't choose who play the infinite game. Mm. That's, the, that's the worst thing about it. Like, I can't choose who play soccer. I said all the time, everybody, if we go play now, he's going to be like, nah, I don't kick. But yeah. the ball is around. Yeah. I kick the same brown ball I know Messi's kicking. You sit on the same deck as Black, black Coffee. You yeah. sit on the same yeah. violin as Wolfe, Warren yeah. Ferris yeah. and yeah. Ellison, yeah. all of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. We travel the same thing. We speak about yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Mm. We go into. It's the only thing that you can choose is the mindset you play mm. with. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I want to want to just. Uh, I always say this every podcast is the things we shared, and I and I and I, and I speak for myself is I don't care if I'm right. Mm. And I really don't care if I'm wrong. Mm. All I care is that we grow. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because then I'm good. Yeah. Because then then you you then you're growing your professional self. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I, I would like to end off with, with, with you guys just sharing like, so your courage to lead, where are you gonna, where, where is this leading to you now for the next six months? Where do you see yourself heading this next six months? Leading yourself too personally and professionally? Um, and where I'm leading myself to the next six months. And the next six months uh, leading myself, whew, I, I think just maybe, uh, yeah, no, actually, I got it on a good track. I don't have any, nice. uh, my, my vision's quite far. Um, nice. So I think everything's going good with myself uh, at this moment in time. I'm taking the right steps at the Brilliant. right times. Uh, so I can't give you a six month. I know I'll be back in Germany by then. Nice. Um, I want to take 
And then personally, I want to have a nice holiday in the next six <laughs> months because I haven't gone on holiday for about three years. Now. Sure, yeah. brilliant. Uh, so I want to then the next six months I want to go hiking through some mountains. Mm. Yeah, just mm. backpack and just go. You yes. know. Yeah. And that's and that's it. So leadership for myself, I, I don't know. I think just I'm doing the right steps every day. Yeah. That uh, that mm. Atomic Habits, James Clear, fantastic mm. read. If you ever get a chance to it, small that's small things. It's part of my curriculum. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's one of my. That's one of that. That's a fantastic book. Small things consistently. Yeah. Instead mm. of large things, mm. and that's what I do. So mm. it's not like I got I a plan. It. There's wow. a, uh, 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 there's a. There was a meme uh, that my that my girlfriend actually sent to me, and it was a uh, uh, orangutan with his hair all out like yeah. this. He's like, man, don't ask me about five years. I don't even know what's happening <laughs> in five days' time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. You know, yeah. it's yeah. like yeah. it's yeah. like it's. Can do like a lot's changed for me. Uh, very quickly, uh, but I know that every day I get up and I do the same th- routines and follow that structure, and then it keeps my virtues and my principles mm. healthy, my mind, mm. my body, and everything else, and then that expands mm. around mm. me. Mm. So that's the that's the thing. Yeah. Did you as well? I'm throw to you next six months, personally, professionally, sir. Um, for me, I'm just on a personal quest to unlearn a lot of things mm. about myself. Mm. Mm. So, in doing that, I'm hoping that I'm learning new things mm-hmm. while I'm learning. Um, that that's basically it for me, you know. Yes. Like like uh, some self development is very essential. Mm-hmm. You know? yes, yes. Um, my relationship with music has changed over the years. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier. Mm. You know, I am not making music for people making music for myself mm. nice you know mm. um so that will always be a thing in actual fact i'm releasing a song on friday releasing a song on friday yeah but the, <laughs> but for me for the next six months it's all about just self-development i have a teenager that i need to get through her matric year mm. so basically the next couple of months is just supporting her you know 100%. um that's basically priority number one, and like I said, just like some self development stuff. Professionally, the academy, the academy that is going. Um, our next semester happens. I think it's September. Yeah, okay. September, and then the big plan is to by next year launch the online version of the school. Nice. Oh. So um, nice. a lot of our students have, they have gone on to do phenomenal stuff um and we are at a point where we want to expand what we are doing not just in cape town not just in south africa but the whole continent as well mm. yes yeah Oof. my brothers um dylan do you want to share anything before yeah. i part of the brothers yeah i uh, see uh, are you asking me the same question or yes i'm asking you the same question brother mm. six months I, I i really like what you said earlier on um just saying yes to mm. the opportunities to every day um, and being at the kitchen, being what we're doing for the community there Fantastic of work. Musenberg, like I just yeah. want to say yes to that, yes to when it comes to leading a space and you know um, making sure that yeah we, we're doing our piece, we're holding our corner, um, doing our good, and so yeah, um, and then things like this is enriching it's life giving oh, so, so, good. For sure. so so I, more conversations with you know people that have gone before me and yeah. that i can learn from so yeah brother nental i can mm. see nental mm. this, this is nental's <laughs> podcast i'm in this one for you i'm in this one now my my next six months is i want to grow this platform mm. i want to grow um each podcast, I want to grow in the political field. I want to grow in the, in the self-development uh, field. Mm-hmm. I want to grow in the business for, for, for Dave. I want to just get more eyes on you guys, man. Mm. And with doing that, I want to just filter... Convers- it, it will happen, happen organically that conversations like this will filter through, man. Mm. Mm. And hope it hits to somebody, somebody that needs to hear this. Because, dude, if I knew... Stuff that you that you drop on this podcast, the the on the Wednesdays. If I knew it five years ago, mm. bruh, I wouldn't have 
tortured myself so much. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. playing, and when, when I started, I jumped, jumped in, and and I was, I knew that the, the learning curve was coming, but I, I didn't enjoy the learning curve that much, mm. and it made me frustrated. And I get a cock at the moment. So I text him at the moment. Oh, you want to fuck with me? You know what I'm saying? If I knew the, the just relax, that will happen. This yeah, is natural. This yeah. is natural. It would have been a more smoother ride. It would have been a, yeah. a more mature ride. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can, can, so, yeah. can I just say something? 100%, my brother. I, I just want to mm. like commend Nantel as well for what he's doing, mm. um, for providing this platform. You know, um, it's just phenomenal, man. And it's just inspirational you know um one of our the team uh my team's philosophies is to always evolve right and i mean you've been doing that you know from djing and you know you work with black noise and now doing this and um, i just want to commend you for what you're mm. doing man like okay. much much respect because um you might not know it, but you you inspiring me for sure. You know, oh. and I know some of the other guys as well. You had us on here, I think a month ago or so, month two ago. months ago, mm. um, yes. and and we're still talking about that evening here. You know, mm. so major respects. Yeah. You said that, sure. Really sure. For, from my side, my brothers, um, we met in a voluntary kitchen, a museum kitchen. Yeah. Myself and and you, you, you actually. Uh, a student of the school where I actually yes. found my passion for people. Wow, that's crazy. So, Cedar that's, High School. That, that's crazy. Shout out to yeah. Cedar High School. The melting pot of the music uh, of the Muse Kitchen has put me possibly in contact with um, the person who I feel might even fund my school, mm. um, yourself, mm. Dylan. Wow. So, Things happen organically mm, yes. when you, you have the, when you do things in the right vein. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Um, okay, I'm gonna touch on the comment before yeah, yeah, yeah. people are getting angry. This is a real private conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people. It's okay. So, so the first one is my wife. Yeah. Did you want? Oh, okay. yes. So th yes. that um, that don't count yes. as, a, as a supporter that because is that is the default <laughs> default setting. <laughs> <thing. laughs> so, uh, love this, and then Ian Peterson. Ian Shout Peterson. out to Ian Peterson. Who's Ian Peterson? Uh, Ian Peterson is is uh, DJ oh, Sophia's, Sophia's dad. Yeah, dad yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. Super cool guy. Nice. Nice. Shout out my brother. Anybody yeah. else? Uh, the legend himself. Who's that? Tell him. You, if you need to be specific, Ian. Everyone. About everybody's legendary. Tyron de Villiers. So Tyron de Villiers, in 2016, uh, he was one of my students in my first ever class I had, mm -hmm. grade 10. Cool. Um, and then he matriculated in 2018. Wow. Uh, helped him get into UW's, uh, got his NISFAS, and there he's standing, he graduated wow. okay. a few years wow. ago. Amazing. And Congratulations. now he's busy That's doing good. his master's, his honors in Afrikaans. Mm. He's wow. busy Man. writing the Afrikaans trilingual dictionary. Okay, so he, part of he that. definitely knows Adam Haupt and Correct. Clinton yeah. and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now he's teaching at my facility. Cool man. So he's now he's in front of my Humble kids. Guy, he's came wow. through the the, guy, yeah. the madness. That's crazy. So, mm. Product of it, and then you really love the mission. Appreciate that about you, Rochelle Swartz. Oh, Rochelle is Seems actually good. the manager of Early B. That's Early B's nice. sister, and she manages Good. him as well. Oh, um, yeah. let's let's just say uh, we would love to have him on the yeah, Rochelle. Can you Rochelle? Rochelle, Rochelle, we did meet Rochelle. It was the the concert. It was called the Be the Change concert at Cedar High School. Uh, you know you met me, Mr. Miller, at the time. <laughs> now I'm faking. But Rochelle, yeah. please, early B. Bring, bring, bring all to the show. Bring, Rochelle. bring. Yeah. Mental, two extra mics, extra couple of chairs. <laughs> <laughs> and then so many gems fell forward. Um, so there we go. Thank you for that, yes. DJ Azul. I think my wife's also. We would like to write things down. Is that is that it? Did we give uh, a shout out to everybody? Thank you um, for everybody for tuning in. Just before, before yes, yes, in, um uh, oh, Hezran, you, your next show? Yes, oh, please. Uh, next, show, yes. next show tomorrow at Voidfius uh, in Stellenbosch. Nice. Uh, I'll be opening Voidfius. Nice. And then on the 29th of uh, June at Cafe Roo. Um, nice. with, uh, I've got a, a fantastic artist joining me opening the set, Gia Lee. 
uh, she'll be opening uh, that show, and then I have something—a secret show uh, happening at the Muse Kitchen, which hey. that'll be announced in July. I think that hey. possibly might be my last show before I go back to Europe, and then I tour Europe for a so, bit. Nice. Watch out! Nice. Yeah. Nice. Watch, yeah. Watch yeah. the space. Yeah, nice. Just watch the space. I think the show might be yeah. on my birthday. Yeah. 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 in July. Okay. Want to know? Just ask me when's my birthday. <laughs> No, I haven't no, invited no. people in a long time. To all those who threw me away because my mouth don't stop, <laughs> I'm gonna invite you this time around. <laughs> Did you just know, where can people locally catch you on decks? We literally, Claire, yeah, we, we have to clear. Yeah. Um, shout out four, to Claire. Shout out to Claire. Yes. She was like, DJ Azul. You know when somebody I'm such just a gives fan. it. I'm oh, such a fan. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Nice. Um. There is a gig happening. I don't know the date, guys. I'm bad with, I'm bad with dates, so yeah. just 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 follow me via my socials. I think that show's taking place in the next three weeks or so. Cool. And Friday, and Friday, uh, dropping a song with Nicotine Long. Y- what? Yes. That's from that's from my side. Oh, okay. That's yeah, from yeah, my yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The North, 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 North go on. Now, now, I to, now, now I have to big up. Like he's. Ne- I've never met this guy, but like. I haven't heard a rap expression like that yes. from the north, north of, right. of, of like of Cape Town, um, West Bank. Yes. So I must give it up your yeah, respect. Yeah, that's dropping on Friday. So uh, <laughs> he's got an album coming out and uh, at the yeah, it's going to be that's a, crazy, a different it's consciousness. Be a crazy album. Yeah, it's a different consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Tomorrow's long chat for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the Fagin Miller podcast, ladies and gentlemen, where you grow your fish in yourself, is it on Chetty? Thank you, my brother. Thank you, guys. For your time, Thank you. your, Thank you. your insight, everything. Your Likewise. So much. Thank you. Thanks. Sir. DJ Azul. Thank you, sir. Privilege and pleasure. Again, yep. uh, I will have you guys here on, on here soon. Definitely. Every time you touch base here. Of course. And then you find Azul. Mm, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll remind them when I go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they need to collab. Yeah. You, no, that they'll sort out. Yeah, that that's will sort out. That yeah. will definitely yeah. sort out. Fine print, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The content. <laughs> <laughs> I write the good bio, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dylan, the first evening, the resident guest, <laughs> it's something, it's the guy that always, you know, Joe Rogan always has the guy that's just always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You guys are yeah. fantastic. Yeah. The team is, yeah. the team is whole amazing here. That's how we go. That's how we go. And to everybody out there, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you guys in next week. Bless. Peace out. Thanks, guys.